Nino Brown, you tapped in with P Films. What's the word, man? What's the word, P? Man, yo, it's 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 always a beautiful thing to have you on the platform. Um, I feel like you're one of those guys that I was kind of saying this off camera, like it was never planned for us to sit down, but when we did, we instantly had so much chemistry on camera. Um, and and every time I put an interview out out with you, all the subscribers is hitting me up. You'll bring Nino back. Bring bring Nino back. You know. Um, so we got you back third time. You know what I'm saying? How yeah. have you been, man? I'm chilling, bro. Just music. That's yeah. it. Basically, just focus on music and shit right now. Yeah, yeah. Um, how now when you you say focus on the music, you know what is the goals with that? Like, is there any plans with um how you want to distribute the music to your consumers? What's what's the plans with that? Um, I'm trying to put like together a team right now. So it's like I already got mad music. So yeah. I don't really care about doing like vids and shit like that. I need like. A marketer, a pump. I'm not trying to like. I'm trying to do it independent. You feel me? Okay. So that's my biggest thing right now. So that's what I mean. I'm focused on the music. Gotcha. So I'm trying to put together a team. Okay, bet, bet. I right, um last week, last week a couple of days ago, I kind of ran an interview with um with Tay Mac. You know, he's somebody who's kind, who's well known on his side, uh, being woo and everything. And he told the story from his perspective. Um, instantly when I put his interview out, a lot of people gravitated towards it and they wanted to have you back right away to kind of like, yo, you know how the subscribers yeah, are. One side talk, they want the other yeah. person to talk. Um, watching his interview, what were some of the thoughts that ran through your mind? I ain't going front. Like, I don't really, like, I don't know son. You feel me? I ain't probably never seen, I probably seen him before back in the days. You know how niggas be growing yeah. up looking different. He looked like Coca to me, you feel me? So yeah. now, <laughs> long story short, I see this interview, I'm like, nah, I fuck with son. Like, you feel me, son? It's not like, he ain't say nothing wrong. You feel yeah. me? He ain't, he, ain't never, he ain't say nothing he wasn't supposed to say. You feel me? So I, I fuck with his interview. He, you feel me? I feel like, you like the word needed one of them to come up here and tell their side of the story too. You feel yeah. me? So by them, by him coming up here and explaining this shit the way he explained it, I'm jagging it. I ain't going for it. I'm jagging yeah. it. Yeah, he said that was kind of like the first time like you ever seen a woo and Cho agree on anything. Mm -hmm. Like yeah, <laughs> you know, man. everybody kind of like supporting that and all that. Um, now you know. In the interview, he told a couple of stories. You know, he told stories about when things got serious for him. Uh, there was a there was a point he tells a story um, where a, a dude named Daniel, a guy named Daniel, passes away, and supposedly supposedly he's a basketball player, not in the streets, nothing like that. He passes away, and that's the moment where things for him he sees it's intense. It's actually more serious um and he has to kind of like you know take the streets serious and, and, and be careful where you walk in and all that type of stuff he even tells another story where i guess he loaned his father his car but he was driving through um marcus garvey before so people ran up on the car and they had the right car but they thought they had the wrong car because they was he was no longer in it you know so he started realizing damn i can't even drive with the same car with my kid in it it's serious you know, when you're when you're hearing things like that, you know, what are you thinking? Is that kind of is that kind of accurate to the yeah. things that we're going through? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, yeah. hell yeah, that shit is yeah, hell yeah. Damn, that's rule number one though. You can't just be thinking you're gonna be out here in the car, then have your mom driving the same car, and like you know, your family, your yeah. wife, whatever. That shit is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, he also told something about. He said you would see certain people kind of switch sides. From you had people who lived on the Wu side, but then would go Cho. You had people who lived on the Cho side would go Wu. Um, what, what's what's the I guess your experience with things like that occurring? See me like my my circle like the niggas that's like that I grew up with. Yeah, we wasn't going for that. You heard about? But but it was happening because I like everybody say beef wasn't serious to everybody because certain shit didn't happen to everybody or certain people couldn't relate or understand what was going on. Yeah. So you got dudes like I, like I was saying before you started the camera, <clears throat> Brownsville was so big that they got majority, they got the whole Brownsville, if you look at it, from every project, every project, every, that's, that they got it. They yeah. all thumb niggas, you feel me? So pretty sure if something was to happen or somebody was to pass away or whatever, it was regular for a nigga to be like, oh, that's his cousin. Oh, that's his mom's homegirl son that he grew up with. So now he got to go back on this side because 
that's like his family. Yeah. And it'd be vice versa. So it'd be like, all right, cool. It's like, now we see who for us and who for, like, you feel me trying to say? So we'd rather a nigga to do that because you ain't, you could back doors. You feel me? So, all right, yeah. you over there. You chose your side. You chose your side. It's up. That's yeah. It. Has there ever been a time? Because when he said that happened, he said there was a lot of people who, who they was against it. But then you had your group of people who were like, nah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's family. For, I guess for you, uh, let's say someone you love kind of takes a stance like, nah, son, this, this got too close to home. They went on that side, but then they come back. Have you ever been in that nah, predicament? Nah, no, you out of here. You can't yeah. do that. It's, it's... But you ever been in that, though? Like, ever had to go through that? Nah. Or, okay, okay, okay. Kind of people knew. Nah. Yeah, yeah niggas know. You can't. I don't know. That's yeah. like, the, that's like, like, the think about it. If you were, like, in the military or Navy or some shit, yeah. and you beefing with another country, then you'd be like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to go fuck with them for a little minute. Then they don't work yeah. out. I'm coming back over here to USA. Ain't yeah. not jacking that. What yeah. are you, like, they going to think you a spy or yeah, something. Yeah, like, like, fuck <laughs> that. Nah. Gotcha. Gotcha. If, you know what was funny? to me too with with that interview when he brought up the uh the it when he brought up the canarsi yeah i don't know if did you see that part yeah i seen that was no okay okay it, it was funny to me and i'm not knocking no side but it sounded so similar to what you were saying. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, Pete, I'm not gonna come up here and lie and sugarcoat nothing, you heard bro? Because yeah. at the end of the day, I could come up here and say anything, but the comments and the real people in the real world gonna know what it is. So yeah. it's like, I right. so that's why I'm so glad. Like I'm happy that he came up here and did it. You feel me trying to say I don't fuck with Sai, you from with you feel me, fuck all that. I'm happy because by me just saying it, it yeah. looked like, oh yeah, he just some chill nigga. Oh, he mad, oh, he hating, oh, he saying anything. Now yeah. you see it from their point of view that we don't know them niggas. They don't know them niggas. Yeah. It's like, how is anything connected to us and y'all? And it's just confusing the world. You're confusing yeah. the kids. You're confusing everybody. Confusing me. You heard, bro? Because yeah. I don't even know what the fuck really be going on half of the time. Yeah. The only thing I will say, though, there was some comments about this. Chose being in Brookline. You yeah, feel that's, me? That's, this I'm trying to tell you. Cho is originally, see people say Sally's, right? Yeah, Let's okay. break this down, right? I, yeah. Sally's is not Cho, right? They not Cho. It's that, I said this before with Melo, Sally's came up with the sound. Like, you know, you know what I said before, uh, like, the uptown calling. niggas got a ha, you got all type of dumb shit, right? They came up with the calling. Got yeah, you. we knew Pop. Pop used to come to the trap with us, chill, kick it. That was my cousin, Ackman's, you feel me? Yeah. So he used to come kick it, kick it, kick it. They used to say Cho, but we used to always go to Brooklawn though. Brooklawn is like my family's from Brooklawn too. Mm -hmm. So when we was hood stars, they was M Dub, Gotti fan, whatever, whatever. But we was always linked. Like before we was linked with YG, before TBO, before all of that. It yeah. was always us in Brooklawn. So when people say, "Well, how are they saying this?" Bro Brooklawn is really original, original Cho. They the reason why we was wearing the red, white, and blue bandanas, American flags, and all that. Like wow. they like big part of the history, like real big part of the shit. What, why? Why the 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 American flag? Like what, why that? It's mad different reasons. Like that's crazy. You say that. It's like I we was on some shit. Like I for Gotti fam. First it was like the um the the camouflage flags, like the army flags. It was wearing yeah. that. Boom, represent like soldiers, you feel me? Yeah. Gotti fam soldiers. Then it was like, all right, we hood stars, you feel me? Then you got the American flag with the stars. It's red, white, and blue. We bloods, crips, neutral people. So it's gotcha. like blood, crips, and neutrals in the stars. You know, regular shit like that. But we used to be on the heavy. Like, you see American flag, we got American flag, canes, rocks in American flag, all type yeah. of shit. Like, we used to be on that shit heavy, though. But definitely for a major fact for the world, Brooklawn is definitely, definitely a major factor of this shit. Like, okay. if it, like, if it wasn't for Brooklawn, they played the big role in this shit, basically. They played mm -hmm. the big role in this show shit. But, but then to be fair, to be fair, can't, because Brooklawn is kind of Canarsie, right? Now, this is how we going to get to that, yeah. right? Yeah. It get, all right, boom. Brooklawn, Canarsie. But yeah. that's like, all right, I'm from, say, say I put it like this, I'm from Brownsville, you from Canarsie, right? Yeah. You my cousin. Yeah. Now we got a big family. So now my friends is coming to your side to chill because we don't got a project. We just got a side block. Y'all yeah. got a whole project. So it's a whole nother world for us. It's new girls, new things to do. You know, we just over there. So before we start really beefing with the niggas in our hood, 
they was already beefing with niggas in Canarsie already from mm. their schools, going to school, whatever they had going on. But at the end of the day, it wasn't so serious as, okay, we got to beef with them too. We just know if we with them, we see them, all right, we gonna, this is when it was niggas was fighting and shit. Then Gotti passed away. Now it comes to, all right, we got beef with them niggas. But it wasn't mm. no Favi and no, it wasn't no woo shit. It wasn't yeah, no, it yeah. was... My, it was a certain such a certain yeah. group of dudes from Canarsie. You feel me? So it was like, all right, so we knew who it was. Like, we knew it was these group of dudes. So mm -hmm. now, when shit got serious, when Ock passed away, you feel me? Now, it for them too, now it's like, oh, hold on. All right, now it's, okay, now we choosing a side now. Now we in yeah. shit together. So it's not like, there's no way that Favi and them could be a part of the history. Yeah. Like, there's no way in the world. Like, there's no... Like you know how you look like a like a a, a family tree. Yeah. It's like it'll be no connection to yeah. to them. So you feel me? Yeah. It's it's so funny you say that because I just had Drizzy up here last night. So you know Drizzy, yeah, Fabi, yeah, yeah. and all that. So he tells this story, and I, I I'm crying the whole time he's telling the story because he like yo bro. He was like I remember yelling at my man's like we not woo we from the non we not woo, but then he like. You know, but I'm loyal, so all my mans keep saying they woo, so he like, whatever, I'm woo then. So he says, there's a picture of me throwing up woo wrong, bro. And I'm, I'm, I'm dying. Then he says, he felt so like 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 a fraud. Or I, I don't, if he didn't use that word, my bad, but I think he said something along those lines. Like, I felt crazy when he found out that woo had its own history in Brownsville and all that. He's like, damn, bro, like, y'all had me... Jacking something, and I ain't know no history, but I was just following it blindly because my mans was doing it. So I, I do feel like for some cases with some people, it was kind of like people just being loyal to their mans. And it's like... Yeah, I get they, it. I get it too because I'm not I'm the same way. You feel me? Like if I fuck with somebody and, and, and niggas is in tour with somebody, I, I'm in tour with them too. Like that's just yeah. me. You feel me? So I get it. And you feel me? We all come from the same generation. So we all bro like brought up on the same moral. So I get it. So yeah. it's like, but it depends on who your man is. Is he really active? Is he really a part of this shit? Or is he, oh, he's just jacking it. Now you jacking it and got a bunch of niggas involved. Because say for instance, one of them niggas' mans could be from the Ville. That's Wu, right? Yeah. But he not really on shit. He not really doing shit. But he coming over there on the weekends and making it seem like so much shit going on. So they feeling like, oh, word, ah, yeah, we jacking this shit. But it's not really that. Now they involved with some shit that, you feel me? Yeah. I just look at it like from a different point of view. Like my little bros, they don't care. They they into it with anybody. You they come up here, they gonna tell you, yeah, we beefing with them niggas, fuck them niggas, out of that. But it's like me, I'm too grown, bro. You heard, yeah. bro? So I know like what comes with this shit. Death for jail. So it's like we already got a shitload of shit going on over here, bro. You heard, bro? So for y'all to try to add on to this shit, to try to now I know like I right, boom. It's either when it's new beef. That means it's new deaths, you heard? No word. It could come from any way, this way, that way, any way it could come from. You feel me? So I learned that since a kid. Like, yeah. don't always make beef. If you could avoid it, that's why I be coming up here saying, like, we don't know them. Not saying, like, oh, we don't want an issue. Like, bro, niggas don't want no problem with y'all niggas because niggas don't know y'all niggas. You heard, bro? So yeah. it's like, why risk putting yourself in a predicament or putting us in a predicament for just for, like, clout or just for, like, recognition from people? And yeah. I kind of get it. Like, they can't do that or... Cause like for instance, say Fabi come out with a post and say, "Yeah, you right. I don't know the Garvey niggas. Woo, diddy, woo, diddy, woo." He would look be look crazy at from the world. Like, hold on, you really got lit off with GDK dropping the H Cho K. Y'all niggas really got lit off this shit, and y'all really don't know these niggas though. That is crazy, yeah. you heard, bro? That's yeah. like me making mad diss songs about K flocking them. Yeah, don't uh, yeah. know them. I and I just get lit off this shit. How you think his man's that's still in the trenches? And that don't know nothing. They feel like, hold on, how the fuck he got little for our block and us? We don't even know this nigga. Like, yeah. it's like, come on, bro. That shit God, is like man. crazy. It's a lot of like marketing, I feel like. You know, they, a lot of people say that. Drill, it's hard for drill to sell without you dissing somebody, without you having an op. Because a lot of times, if we listening to a song you drilling, we like, who you, who you, who you talking about? Nobody? All right, this, he's capping. So people kind of need an op, right? Let's say Fabi gets to a point and he just like, yo, you, he does do that. Yo, you know what? We ain't know them. You know what I'm saying? And we just want to put that out there. If we see them, it's, it's no beef, this and that. 
would y'all even be okay with that? This is what I'm trying to tell you. Like, I it'll be on some like it gotta. All right, if he do that and say that, you gotta remember what world we living in, bro. This is yeah. a snake or be snake. So you gotta, you got some niggas in jacket, like, all right, he ain't on shit. Some niggas be like, man, that nigga fronting just to, you know you front for the internet yeah, or whatever, whatever. But a nigga like me, like for instance, right? I see, say we bump into niggas in the spot. Yeah. Nines out of ten, they got security. They got a hundred yeah. niggas with them. You know they regular, right? Yeah. We bump, we gon', we ain't gonna have security, but we gonna be probably with the same amount of niggas. Yeah. Now. Niggas that really beat them niggas up. Like, if, if niggas that want to fight, see in the spot, oh, it could be nothing. It depends because we didn't never run into them. So we don't know, like, how it'll be. You feel know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. I can't. But yeah, niggas ain't really running to them. You heard, bro? Yeah. But it's like, Favi, you feel know what I'm trying to say? It was time. Remember, we was all in the air at the same time. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's shit, you know, niggas. I could, I could understand why niggas feel a way about niggas, but like I told you in the last interview, we just protecting ourselves, you heard, bro? So anything yeah. happened outside of Brownsville, somewhere else, and it's evolving us, it's like, nigga, we the victims, you heard, bro? We protecting ourselves at the end of the day. Yeah. Because like, what we supposed to do if, say for instance, like a nigga like Freshy, say they be like, yo, come open up in the bar clay or some shit, right? Boom. We all go to the bar clay, Freshy open it up. You know, Fabian them, they got the town. Like he got it, he lit. You feel me? He got it. So now they probably called somebody a a, a a little nigga from his side to come and he probably pop out with him now. Now he come to the spot. Now we all in the spot. What the fuck gonna happen? What like what's what's going on? Like what's gonna go on? You a fucking celebrity, you heard bro? I'm with a bunch of niggas that ain't got shit that's ready to do whatever. That so you ready to risk all that? They don't give a fuck what's gonna happen, you heard bro? Yeah. You got dudes that's ready to this is why people so dumb, right? We're going to say, like I said before, you're a celebrity. You got paper. You, you live in a life. You live in a life most everybody in the trenches want to live basically right now, right? Yeah. But you provoking niggas that's in the trench that's waking up every day with murder on their mind, rob this nigga, how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to do that. And plus, niggas don't even know y'all. And plus, it seemed like you, even if he not the word, the comments probably be like, oh, how the fuck he, he got lit off of this and y'all. Even if he didn't, you heard, bro? Yeah. Your entourage. It's just like y'all just provoking us. So now, what you think gonna happen if this nigga that don't have nothing, that know, oh, I could body him. I, I knock him off. I'm the man. Yeah. Five of you not gonna, five of you not gonna be riding around and see... A, a GD or a Cho nigga walk in and be like, oh shit, yeah, this one of them. We gonna hop out and bang him. You heard, bro? Yeah. He's not gonna, he's just, if he is, he's a bozo. But I highly doubt this. You feel yeah, what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But you got them niggas that'll do that to him. So it's like vice versa. Why are you putting yourself in a position or a predicament where you don't have to? You, then yeah. you put other niggas in predicaments to crash out. You yeah. get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So that. You know, you you know what I think it is too? I think a lot of people, and I'm not, I'm not being specific with anyone, but I think a lot of people. It's easy, if, it's easy for them to do that because they don't have to live in certain areas anymore. I think, you know what I'm saying? I think, like, I think people do that that they ain't never been through shit. Yeah. You heard? Like, yeah. They he don't know probably, how bad it could get. Yeah, they don't know the severity. probably never, like, you know, you know, they lost friends and shit. Who am I to say they niggas ain't been through shit? But this is just my opinion on shit. You feel me? But people that never really been through shit don't really get, understand shit. Like, yeah. you start certain shit, like. The way I, right, for instance, you could you could try to you could try to play with a nigga a certain way, right? He might react like, all right, for instance, say you robbed me, or yeah, you robbed me. Yeah. I might take it on a hop. You heard? Now you're a stick-up kid. You go rob my man's. He come back and kill you, your your girl, everybody. Yeah. So it's like everybody is different. You heard, bro? So it's like different ways with this shit. So it's like, I don't, bro, this shit, this shit be, we getting crazy because. This shit is so... Uh, I can't stop half of the shit that's going on. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, amongst my circle, yeah, of course. Like, But this shit is so out of hand now, bro. It's because it's these celebrities that's feeding the false narrative to the world. Now you got kids from other places thinking like... Bro, I'm was, I forgot where I was at. I think I... No, I was in Texas. My little sister graduated or whatever. So the little kids getting a diploma and shit, whatever, whatever. Why the little dude got his diploma? He, he did the slat, then dropped the rake. I said, oh, what the fuck going on out here? Like, wow. how, wait, wait, what the fuck going on? You heard, bro? Yeah. I understand it's GD niggas in Texas, but you know, I, now I'm watching them. I'm paying yeah. attention. They on some bullshit, you heard? So no I'm way. just looking like, 
Nah, but I'm like, who am I to be like, hey, what? Yo, you woo, I'm woo K. Yeah. I know y'all don't know what's going on. And it's like, by me sitting here and y'all saying all what y'all saying, y'all don't know what's going on. Wow. I'm just sitting here looking like, damn, bro. And I felt so bad because it's like, say, like, I'm the one that's losing blood to this shit. You heard, bro? Yeah. Say if I was yeah. the type of nigga, like, I'm going to leave out the school and follow these little niggas and bang them and go back to the city. They don't know me. I'm going to get out of here, Scott Free. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So it's like, they gotta stop that shit. They at a level where they don't they they could do it. They got the enough, they got the follow, they got the fan base, and it's at and it's like the real is getting rewarded now. I feel like this year, 2025 and all that, like the real is getting rewarded. Mm -hmm. So by niggas being real and coming up like yo, bro, like we into it with these niggas, but not these niggas. We don't really you feel me? I understand yeah. niggas fuck with niggas, but cause like I said before, we don't even fuck with the niggas they into it with, so they can't even say like you know what I'm trying to say? So you, shit is just crazy, bro. This shit is yeah. sad, bro. Shit gotcha. crazy. Gotcha. You know, um, I don't know if, damn, it, we could cut this part up uh, if you want, but I don't know if people caught the ATL bar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't going, well, I ain't going, you know. <laughs> nah, they can't, you can't talk about that because they ain't been yeah. seven years. This, this shit yeah, still, yeah, it's yeah. still early. Yeah. Bet. Um, you know, with you saying all of this, you know what I think about, and I, I hate to bring this up because I like this little dude, but um, well, let me not call him little. I like this dude, and he's younger though. But um, with all of the issues going on, what just happened with Ja Wu? You know, like, what are your thoughts when you see that? You know? See, my thoughts? You don't wanna ask me my thoughts. Now, nah, my thoughts, I ain't gonna lie. You see, see, dumb little niggas? Yeah. Like the the Ja Wu nigga, I don't like them little niggas. You heard, bro? I'm gonna let that be clear. It's yeah. I, I don't really know them. I just don't like they be trying to act like they crazy all the time on the internet. You from trying to say they kids. You know, we from broken Bristol. Yeah. Chester, he not from I don't think he from Chester though, but that's that's their side that they, you know, they 4-1 or whatever that shit is, yeah. whatever jacket. I don't really know too much about them because they're younger than me. Yeah. But in that predicament with him. I think Ja Wu from Canarsie, though. Yeah, oh, see, I don't even know. Yeah, you yeah, from trying to say, yeah. I just go for what the little bros be saying. I be gotcha, seeing him in the video okay, with these okay. niggas, but, yeah. but like, in that situation with Son, he got to look at it like, be thankful he's still alive. That's one, you heard, bro? Be yeah. thankful. Two, the streets is not for you, bro. How you let niggas oop you like that? There's no way. Like, they're like, yeah. like, a nigga like me, bro. If a nigga got me, a nigga earned it. Like a nigga really had to really put. Like I'm not saying I'm Superman. I'm, I'm just saying I, yeah. I, I I move precautions and I like. And a lot of shit don't be worth it. So you let niggas catch you, strip you butt naked. You heard? Now we're not gonna say you a bitch, you pussy, because you know who knows yeah, what was the pick. Yeah, what's what was the predicament? You heard? Yeah. We get it. All right, cool. But. I feel like that's a wake up call. That should be a wake up call for a lot of people. Like, cause yeah. how about they would have just woke up with the RP Jawu instead of the video of yeah. him getting stripped naked? You get what I'm yeah. trying to say? It was easy. Cause say if even the niggas who he wanted to do could have made a call to another group of niggas and oh we got boy right here, we'll pull up. Yeah. And it could have been that. So he got a note. And plus the streets is not you, bro. You walking around with no raw, you ain't protecting yourself, you don't got nothing going on. Yeah. So you just a little kid lingering. That's yeah. what I said before, but Fabi. You got certain people out here that's really living this life. You got the fakes, you got the reals, and you got the in-between people. You get what I'm yeah, trying to say? So yeah. that should just be a wake-up call for that nigga, though. Yeah. You know what's crazy? I, I, like like I said, I, I like 4-1 music. You feel me? Meeting them. They're talented. And I, I always liked how... Um, I always liked how how Ja Wu was around them. He just, you know, he played his role. So, you know, I, I grew a love for them. I know them outside of their beef. Like, I don't know the beef side. I just know them as, yo, know, talented, trying to be successful. But sometimes when I see certain artists or people, no one in specific, like with the gangster persona, I see far. Like, I'm already seeing how, where it could go. And then all I all I be thinking when they be doing this, like whether it's a music video or in an interview, I'm like, I can't help but think, are they seeing how far I'm seeing? Like, do, do they see that part where it could go? Because that's what I thought when you said the first thought was, yo, the way they be dropping rakes, he ain't had no gun on him. 
I was, I was shocked. He a face you know? caller too. Yeah, he's he a, rapping. He a, he a face caller. Like, yeah, and it's Jawu. You hear this? There's no disrespect to you. It's like what Nino said. I think it's a wake up call. Like your face is on camera. You might want to not do it or move in a way where you could do it that benefits you a little bit better. You know. See, I felt bad for him, bro. He put himself in a in a category with niggas that his name coming across niggas table. That's them niggas that's doing that. You heard, bro. So this right. what I'm trying to say. He a face caller. So it's like. If you ain't moving right, how about one of them niggas would have really got up with you and it'd have been a whole yeah. nother situation. Like that should be. Then it's like, it's I want the kid, like the youth, like young niggas to really listen and see this shit. You feel I'm trying to say? Like yeah. I already made my bed that I gotta lay in. I know yeah. already was this coming out this shit for me. You feel I'm, I'm not trying to sound like I'm crazy or whatever, whatever. But I already yeah. know my shit is signed and sealed. I already know what's going on with this shit. Yeah. But for y'all, use dumb dudes as examples, bro. They a bunch of kids. That's just try to follow a trend. They don't even have dead friends. You heard, bro? Wow. So now, for y'all to be dissing other niggas' dead friends, right? And dropping other niggas' sets and gangs, right? Dumb niggas is more into this shit than y'all. Y'all don't have dead friends. So you saying, fuck, fuck the dead cameraman. You heard, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you don't think his cousin really want to hurt you? Because he yeah, can't yeah. really say nothing back about you, son, because you don't have no dead friends. You heard, bro? So you think it's cool. So it's like, then y'all jacking... Lay. Lay is Cho. Lay is from Howard. If Lay was alive, Lay would have been 41K. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say? So it was so real. This when I really broke it down because I sat in the crib just watching shit, breaking shit down. I'm like, niggas wanted a dead friend that bad that they went to Jack Paul Lay? Yeah. That's crazy. You heard, bro? That is like, that's insane. Like, kids these days be wanting dead friends. Like, they, yeah. just to say, oh, I'll be, word to the bro, or word to my mans, and yeah. woo woo. So yeah. now, I said that to say this, bro. This is the message to 412. This not a threat. It's not, nah, I'm just trying to school niggas, bro, because I've been there, bro. I lost a lot of friends, bro. Yeah. Once it start happening, it don't stop happening, and you can't bring back nothing. You're going to be looking at a bunch of snap videos, music videos. Then it's going to be too late to say, I want to change. I want to mm. get out of this shit. I'm a leader. I want to leave this shit alone. Like, Ja Wu, too late for him. You in this shit. You got to take that stripping on out now. Back to Ja Wu. Now you doing all this crazy shit right now. The, the world eyes on you. Now what, what you gonna do? You gonna you crash mean? out? You gotta crash out. Cause the street niggas are saying you gotta crash out. That's what yeah. any street nigga that's in the street saying the same shit. What you yeah. better go? You know what? You gotta go put the belt or something. You heard, bro? Yeah. Like niggas validated your manhood. Yeah. Then again, so it's like that's why when the the dude um I keep forgetting his name the lights can do that came up here. Tay Mac. Tay Mac. When he said this shit is a myth, this shit really a myth, gang. Like yeah. On both sides. Y'all caught a op, y'all ain't do what y'all supposed to do. You heard, bro? Mm. You out here not moving how you're supposed to be moving, right? Yeah. Then you got the females that's encouraging him, like a nigga, like they saying, oh, like right now, it's like a happen. As long as females on the internet jack you, you good. Y'all da 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 for tripping him, woo 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 woo. Instead of encouraging nigga, like, yo, boy, you bugging, get out the streets, like, leave this shit alone. Then it's like, he can't even leave the streets alone because he too far in now. Mm -hmm. So it's like you got to. Now, if you don't crash out, you wash your name up. Now you look crazy. So it's like. Do, do you feel like that? It's too late for him or like. Yeah. yeah. It's too late. It's too late. For, that's what I'm trying to say when I was getting saying the message to the 4-1. Yeah. Don't make it. Don't put yourself because they damn near in that predicament that he's in. Because niggas don't really care about them. They know niggas, they kids, they music. Niggas be more in the entourage niggas. Like, all right, yeah. this nigga, that nigga, feel me? But it's like. Yeah. Like, for instance. I'm going to say this now because it's like nothing really happened. Like the dude, Tata. Me and my son, Melo, the, right? Melo the Demon. Melo the Who, yeah. whatever. Feel me? We were shooting a video in Newport. So, mind you, they, the four one dudes is younger than me. I don't know them. I don't even know mm -hmm. what's going on. I don't know. You feel me? I just know that they woo. This is yeah. what's coming across my table. So, you know, I'm on some anything that's evolving with them niggas is out of here. So, we shooting a video in Newport. Woo, woo, woo. One of the little niggas that's from over there came to Newport. Because you got to remember, they all, like, used to live in that area. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Ch Chester, Newport, or like, whatever. So he come over there. I seen the nigga. I'm one of them dudes. I watch everybody video. I'm yeah. talking about anybody, everybody. I'm yeah. watching the video. Who in the back? Who this? So I, I'm like, yo. And he, wasn't, he was in a video with them niggas. Oh, I won't store. So niggas like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, I'm like... We valeting this nigga, you heard, bro? Yeah. But at this time, it wasn't, they wasn't really too GD crazy. So Freshy and them, 
basically was also like, nah, bro, for me, because little dude niggas know, bro, Zoe and them used to save them little niggas a lot, because on some, like, try to, like, bro, they not, they not off, they just young, dumb niggas, dick riding, uh, they just trying to be down, like, okay, don't worry, okay. so the dude Tata, I guess his mom still was living in Newport, yeah, so, you know, we got the ad Family Dollar right there. We coming out of Family Dollar. Who we see? Tata. Right? Boom. Him. I, I don't know if it's his mom's an older lady. Whatever, whatever. Now, I'm a one of them niggas that's ready to do that. You heard, bro? Yeah. Two niggas, actually. So, I'm like, that's the little nigga that be rapping and shit. Ah. So, niggas like, yeah, what's up? What we doing? Woo, woo. So, I had to really sit there and think, like, should I let... My niggas crash out for this little dumb nigga. Yeah. Should we beat this little dumb nigga up or and say we go beat him up and he got a rod on him? Now we gotta do something like, on him. So it's like, it's yeah. so I'm like, you know what? Fuck the little nigga. You heard bro? Like, leave the little nigga alone. Right after that, they drop, I forgot what video they dropped. They GD crazy. They going crazy. They on live going crazy. I'm just looking like, damn, gang. Like, niggas could have just, like, you won't be known what be going on, bro. Cause y'all yeah. little niggas don't be knowing that. It's people that's really serious with this shit, bro. That's really know they, they destiny. They know what's going on. They know the outcome. They all in with this shit, bro. Yeah. Not saying that niggas is crazy, but it's like niggas see who they see is going to be that. And why would y'all want to be like right now me? If I could take back all my drama and beef and be like a civilian, I'd do that any day. Like right yeah. now, like today, if I could walk out here and start all over and be a square, hell yeah, bro. This shit is whack, bro. This but, but let me ask you this. Why not? Why not? Try that though, like, and and give me a real answer, like, when you think about trying it, what, what stops that? What are the, what are some of the roadblocks for you? I'm just, I right, with me, it's like, I'm in this shit for different reasons. You heard, bro? So it's like, I look at this shit different. Like, I lost blood, like family to this shit. You from trying to say everybody know, like, I lost cousins to this yeah. shit. Like, for me, I lost three cousins, damn near four. My other cousin got life. For me, damn. so it's like. I'm in this shit cause I see my grandmoms crying, my aunt crying, like shit like that. You feel me? Regular shit, family shit. Yeah. So it's like I I'm I'm comfortable with like the outcome. Cause it's like I don't watch my cousins die. I don't watch I don't watch real close people like that I came in this shit with lose their life or go to jail forever. It might sound stupid, cause I probably no. be wording it wrong, but it's just like I'm all in for this shit, you heard, bro? Yeah. It's like, you, I probably got friends that's not all into this shit because they don't know my cousins or they just look at them as friends and they, yeah. they could be like, yo, you know what? I'm gonna leave this shit alone. I'm not saying like, I'm out here every day on some go crazy, crazy, crazy shit, but nah, this shit is just, just forever. You from trying to stay? Yeah. So it's like, it is what it is. And I, then another thing, let me let this yeah, be known. Yeah, yeah. A lot of, I, you know how people are like, oh, y'all got mad different. Bro, we don't got a lot, like, Papa didn't die from Wave Gang. Yeah. I didn't die from Wave Gang. You heard, bro? A lot of our friends didn't die from Wave Gang. So I want that to be known to the world. Yeah. So they'd think like, oh, he's, he's speaking on Wave Gang. We got other beef that's deeper than yeah. this. You know, the world don't even be knowing what's going on. This is just more televised. So it's yeah. just like, okay. The it's attention dumb. goes there. Yeah, or it'd be like, oh, y'all got six dead friends. Oh, they killed six of y'all. Woo -woo. And they don't even know. I got dead friends like Fences Tech. Tech died. My man's killed. His best friend killed him. You know what I'm yeah. trying to say? So it's just like, it's just mad shit. It's just yeah. mad shit, bro. Yeah. You know, I guess um, going back to the to the other thing, I think the last question, and it's just a real one. It's not to offend you or nothing. It's a real one. It would be like, if you see that your grandmother cried or your aunt cried, wouldn't would they, does it ever come in your mind where it's like there could be a possibility and I'm not putting this on you but there could be a possibility that they could be in a position where they're shedding tears for me whether I end up doing time or I end up losing my life is that ever a thought that runs through your mind yeah that's that should be anybody in the streets though it's like mm -hmm. it's like you know when you in this shit for so long bro it just become a second neck, like a second nature. It's like mm. you, you care about it. Like you, you, you. Nobody want to die, bro. Nobody, yeah. nobody. I, I be thinking of niggas be fronting. Like, I ain't scared to die. Niggas be fronting. Like just yeah, be saying. I, I'm anything. like yo, bro. Yeah, word, you say like, anything. You heard, bro? Because yeah. it's like it's cool to be scared. It's emotion. Everybody go through it. So it's like I don't want it to happen. That's why I feel like I won't leave this shit alone because it's like 
I feel like once soon as I take one foot out this shit, that's when niggas get that's when shit happens. You heard bro? And I and I always mm. said that since a kid. Like I used to watch First 48 a lot, right? Growing yeah. up. So the story would be, oh yeah, he was working, he was in the streets, but he got a job, he left the stuff alone, then they killed him. Or he was trying to go to school and better his life and they killed him. Yeah. He so it's like since a kid, that shit been better in my brain. So I just to be like, man, I'm in this shit. Like, yeah. fuck it. I'm not even gonna let up because Soon as you let up, it's like, and then when you in the streets gang, when you do certain shit, it's like, you do shit that just, you you so tied to the streets, like, you so yeah. tied in, this shit, like, you can't, like, certain things, yeah, like, you, you can't come back, yeah, from. you gotta I, just, I get it, I get it, but, you know, like, I was just telling my mans this the other day, and I'm bugging, this morning, I was like, yo, sometimes, um, when I, there was a, there was a chick I was talking to in South Carolina, and sometimes when I would go see her, like, it felt like I could breathe different. I felt like I could be over there with no bread popped, but I felt refreshed. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That's crazy you said that. Like, I just said that to, to my girl, right? I'm like, yo, when I, we went to Puerto Rico, then we went to, like, South Carolina, North Carolina. And I'm right. like, yo, it feels funny when I breathe. Like, I don't know. Yeah. It just feels so, like, fresh and relaxed yeah. and, like. It feel like, bro, that shit felt like I was on another planet. Just yeah. to be so far and not really worrying about shit, yeah. then I catch myself, like, worrying about shit still sometimes. Mm. So it's like my brain just be playing tricks on me, so that shit. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, t I guess the whole tech story, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's something is like... Where we know, we know tech used to be GD... No, that, Tech wasn't GD. Tech was no. BD. I, oh, he was BD. Then went GD, or I thought he was BD. He was supposed to be GD, but Tech was always like BD, a Black Disciple, oh, like first he, Black Disciple before we yeah. knew what Chief Keith was, before we knew anything. Yeah. Gotcha. Cause I've heard like there's people that talk about him. There's people that have been on my platform that mention him and all that, and always spoke highly of him. This and that. Um, but obviously there was a point in time where you know he lost his life, whatever. Um, uh, rest in peace to him. That that whole situ. Obviously, the person is is doing time for that, right? Yeah, yeah he already copped out and all that. Yeah. Shit. How much time did they get for it? I think he got probably like either fifteen to a dub. Yeah. Yeah. Is there, is there an L behind? Is there a life no, behind? I think got the L. No. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. How? How? I mean, for somebody you being around certain people who get mad time. Is there a difference in feeling when there's a lot of years in an L or or just a lot of years? Like, what what is the thought process behind I that? I think people, I think, like, I, I got friends with L's and I got friends a lot of time. So my friends that got the L, yeah. it seemed like they cope with it better than the people that got a lot of time. Wow. Because it's like, I look at it like, I got the L, bro, I'm in here. Like, I, I got to, like... I can't let this shit break me. You heard, bro? Adapt. I got to just... Yeah, I got to adapt. You feel yeah. me? The niggas that got all that time be like... Boy, I got 15. I only got four in. Boy, what the fuck? Boy, like, mm. fuck. You feel me? So that shit, that shit be crazy. Yeah. What What was the issue with them? Like, it, as much as you could get into, like, you, oh, you said with, they were best tech, friends, I, right? With, with they whole situation is like, I was in jail for a lot of the shit. But when yeah. I came home, I put a stop to a lot of, like, I, I, I mean, all right, boom. Yeah. Tech was hood stars, right? Yeah. KB was YG30 from Howard. Yeah. Feel me? So, you know, we all chill. We the same shit. Tech and, and KB, them niggas was best friends. You feel me? KB got hit by, like, a truck or a Dunkin' Donuts truck or some shit back in the days when he was a kid. Yeah. So He got some money. Yeah, he got some paper. Okay. He also always talk about getting some paper. Like, I'm getting a lawsuit, getting a lawsuit. Niggas thought he was lying, so he got some yeah. paper or whatever. <laughs> so now, I right, with KB, I feel like this, bro. I don't want I don't want to fit none of the bros or nobody that's, like, you know, related to Tech and nothing. Woo -woo. But I just feel like... Nobody was wrong in that situation. Yeah. Like, for me, like, at the end of the day, I'm not going to really go too deep in details, but it's like, my son KB, mom's got shot. He got shot. Right? He sat there and watched his mom. He, he been through a lot of shit. You heard, bro? KB been through mental. My man been through a whole bunch of shit. You feel me? So yeah. it's like, you being his best friend, knowing the type of person this person is, and to do, uh, let me see, allegedly, right? Mm -hmm. Allegedly, 
to do the shit that they said you was doing to him. We gonna say stealing, right? Yeah. You stealing from him, you doing shit, you doing little shit, right? Yeah. You should know what type of person. Not saying he's right for doing what he did to him, because yeah. it, it 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 get deep with just than stealing. But that's like one of the main yeah. the main things for me. So it's like that really broke up the hood. That broke up a lot of shit. Like that shit stopped it. Cause you gotta look at it like this. A lot of the bros ain't go to jail like I did to sit down and really for me look ain't at shit it. different and see woo woo. For me, so now I come home. I'm on something like, yo, boy, I'm about to go to the P's. I go to Howard, right? I go go to Howard. Yeah. The vibe is fake, like, it's a little, like, off. I'm not saying, you like... You could feel it. Without, yeah, like, it's okay. off. So I'm like, yeah, so I, I pull up. I'm hollering at him, hollering at one of the bros. He tells me, like, yeah, I just got it wrong with... Um, I just got it wrong with Coach on the island. Ah, 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 woo, woo. So I'm like, you got it wrong with Coach on the island. He like, yeah, he tell me what's going on. So I'm like, where? I'm like, all right, boom, boom. Now I go to my block. Yeah. I pull up with my cousin. This is what my cousin Chicken was allowed. I'm talking to Chicken and shit. He telling me like, yo, bro, ah, this is going on. Niggas not fucking with niggas. Ah, woo, woo, woo. Now, back to what I was saying. Nobody's wrong. How would niggas come to the block? Now, by niggas want to know the story. What happened? Woo, woo, woo. What's going on? Now, the person that was there, I ain't going to say his name. Yeah. He was the nigga that was there when, when Tech died, right? He the only one that can tell the story. KB not gonna tell the story. You hear, bro? So now, the story that son told niggas, his story changed two, three times. You heard, bro? This down the third. So now that caused tension. Then now you got some niggas on my block ready to go slide on KB. Then you got some niggas from Howard not jacking that, but you got some niggas from Howard jacking that. Then you got some niggas, you know what I'm trying to say? So yeah. it's causing like internal, in, issues. internal issues. So now they on some shit like, yo, this nigga lying, his story changing. But I had to tell him, like, yo, bro. This nigga ain't never been through nothing, bro. He's seen this nigga die in front of him, gang. He's traumatized, bro. Yeah. You can't just think a nigga gonna come the next day and be like, yo, yeah, this happened. Yeah, he died right in front of me. Woo. You got to just let a nigga, let him just get his shit together. He got to try to hold it down, be outside, do this, do this. Niggas in his ear. He don't know what to do. He don't know what to say. You heard? Because yeah. it's like, you got to show. It's like, that's why if you pay attention, bro, I brung Bambino back to the block. Like I told him, come back. Like, bro. All that Howard shit, all that shit is, that shit is dead. Y'all niggas is cho, y'all gang. Like, I wasn't, when I, before I went to jail, I wasn't even chilling in Bristol like that. I was a Howard nigga, you feel I'm trying to say? Okay. So it's like, that shit is quiet, gang. We gonna come to the block, we gonna shoot this vid, and we back to square one. That whole KB and Tech shit is fucked up, but it's like, we ain't gonna kill each other over this shit, bro. Them niggas was best friends. They had their own shit going on that nobody could have stopped, bro. You feel what I'm trying to say? Even the nigga that was there, because from the store... Yeah, can I ask what what was he stealing from from I, him? Or was that too? I basically, KB had the lawsuit and he he know he had bread, so he got stacks. You got to remember, mm. back then two thousand three thousand, that shit is everything. That's yeah. that's I mean two thousand three thousand is yeah is, now it is, is too, is but like too, you know to that? niggas that's coming from Brownsville that never yeah. had shit, and then my son KB used to be heavy on like. Um, he used to be smoking K two, okay, popping okay. E pills, like, yeah. like this back in the days, like we didn't even know what this shit was. You yeah. know what I'm trying to say? That's crazy. So and he yeah. was always younger than us too. Gotcha. But he was tech used to, allegedly, you feel me? He was taking his bread, doing uh, little shit, try to punk him, you know, woo woo. And bro wasn't just going for that one day, and he just, you feel me? Then you got to remember, you don't never know what a person going through in life, period. Yeah. So yeah. you don't know what that nigga is. He just sat there and watched his moms get shot for some shit he was involved in. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So it's like, he got yeah. shot, his moms got shot, my other son got shot in the head, or in one, in one little situation. The person so, passed away? Or? No, 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 my oh, son good. Wow. But it's like, you don't know what a nigga going through, gang. Yeah. So by you doing that, he might looking at you like, this nigga not my man. This nigga mm. stealing for me. This nigga a snake. This nigga do this to me. This nigga ain't even trying to... All right, I'm going yeah. to do that to this nigga now. Now I, now you nigga on pills. Yeah. The nigga don't know what's really going on. Once you set your mind on something, you on them pills, it's like, this what it is. Yeah. Now, who's to say when he did that, he ain't... He ain't break down, probably turned the gun on himself and tried to kill himself. Or who knows? Who yeah. knows? How who knows he not going through it right now? Mental health up north for killing his best friend. Who knows? You get yeah. what I'm trying to say? So that shit is crazy. Damn. How long how how old were they at that at that time, if you could remember? <sighs> I can't remember. I know yeah. KB was young because yeah. that plays K, a role K, too. Like he KB might... and K my my son KB, 
that nigga been a wild young nigga, bro, for for forever. Like Tech was Tech was a wild boy, but KB just was. He was the baby bro, like the baby yeah. wild little nigga, like just wow. He was wild. I'm talking about he on four or five e pills. That little Damn. nigga smoking a whole car, I must have called a whole pack of cigarettes. Like at 12, 11, he telling yeah. us he 14. So yeah. when he turned when he turned 14, niggas like, thought you was 14 this whole time. <laughs> you heard word. That nigga's my son. Yeah. That's Damn, my son. Man. Have you ever had any friends that were woo? Like anyone that you were like. I actually do jack you, you know? Mm, let me see. I got to think. Nah, I ain't even going to front, bro. Yeah. I, I, nah, I spoke to, I spoke to like, like in, a, but like in the sales, like we was in the Forget About Me pants. I spoke to like niggas like Bam, Dougie. Okay. I, I fake jacked them off of like, you know, we talking through the gates. Like, all right, for me, niggas, stand up niggas, whatever, whatever. Yeah. But me, see, you got to understand, P. Like, I'll be zero tolerance with them niggas. You heard, bro? Yeah. So it's like, it's yeah. it's not going to be a chance for me to ever say, like, oh, I was in jail, and son came through the jail, and we, you feel me, we chopped it up, and we kicked it. Because once a nigga come through the jail and I get a whiff, oh, he from who? We out of here. We going to the box. You heard, bro? Yeah. And that's just that. So I ain't going to lie. Nah. Like, my bros, a lot of my bros was... On the island, kicking in with niggas, certain niggas. So yeah. you might speak to somebody else, and they be like, "Oh no, nah, such and such my man." So, ooh, ooh. Oh, okay. or I could just tell you that who's solid. Like I know he a solid nigga, he a solid nigga. Mm -hmm. uh, for me, but it was never no buddy buddy shit. Nah. Gotcha, gotcha. You know, since we we on that that topic, what I guess what was kind of your experience doing? You did six years, right? Mm -hmm. What was the experience from beginning to end? What was that like for you? And and matter of fact. Started off with kind of like your first time going in to do that's that was your longest beat, yeah. right? What was that feeling like? I ain't gonna front. I boom, I got locked up. I kept going back and forth to the island. So yeah. when I went, I came home from juvenile, I did some stupid shit that I, I got locked up and involved with some shit that I forgot I even did or you forgot yeah. I even like was a part of, you heard? Right. So when they come lock me up. They come, boom, they come bless my crib, boom, boom, they lock me up. I'm thinking it's over. I'm thinking they came and got us for some whole other shit. So I'm telling yeah. my mans, like, it's over. Because once they lock me up, they looked at my mans, they asking a nigga, like, what's your name? He thinking he good. He say his name. They're like, yeah, we looking for you too. I locked him up. But I never did nothing with the nigga or nothing, no crazy. So I'm looking like, what's going on? I got caught up in some other niggas' case. You heard, bro? Because yeah. I did some other shit with some other nigga that's a part of them niggas. You feel what I'm trying to say? Gotcha. So, boom. Now, I get to the island. Mind you, I'm on the island. All the bros on the island. Everybody on the island. Yeah. Shit is mixy. I'm so wild that this shit is nothing to me. This shit, because I, I, I've been going to juvenile and jail for my whole life. So, yeah. shit wasn't like a bumpy road on the island. That shit was like, that shit was sweet. But when I got up north, when I went up like to prison... You feel me? I already felt the vibe from downstate. I'm like, all right, this shit ain't about nothing. I, I got to a couple spots. My first spot, like, the big bros had to really tell me, like, yo, bro, like, you you too wild. You got to yeah. chill. Like, you got to <laughs> chill. Because I was just on some Rikers Island, young nigga. My, had, my name was ringing from the streets. So it's yeah. in a jail. Niggas like, oh, yeah, you are. You need no are. Ooh, yeah. So I'm on some, like, wild shit. I'm bugging. I winds up doing some dumb shit. I sent to the box for three years, and they had me. I was in that shit just in a box for mad long, bro. Gangster. Three years in the box, like, could, could you talk about what got you in the box? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit. All right, boom. Long story short, I was a part of an organization, right? Yeah. Boom, that I'm no longer part of, yeah. but I was a part of an organization up there. And on the compound, I was like the youngest one of the organization, so it's like. I got like mad love, like you know, and I was official, like you feel me? Say I was a young official nigga, so they was like, all right, boom. So now, one of the niggas I met, he from like Rochester, upstate New York, somewhere. He tell me like, yo, I'm trying to get my man to like be a part of us type shit. Yeah. So I'm like, I right, bet instead of me saying like I'm gonna put him under me, I go to my big bro that I was under, like yo, I basically vouch for the nigga, like yo, yeah. I right, woo woo. He's like, I right, bet. I didn't know the nigga from a can of paint, but I knew his mans, you feel me? Gotcha. So, long story short, ooh, ooh, ooh. a couple weeks later, some shit come back that son had some funny shit on his name, Damn. like some telling shit. 
So now they tells my man's like, yo, you gotta pop him. You gotta like, you gotta shoot him. You gotta get him out of here. I'm looking, we under the pavilion. So I'm in Bear Hill. Around this time, 2012, Bear Hill is a firing zone. It's going down. You heard? Yeah. So I'm sitting at the table, I'm looking at the nigga. He like, all right, bro, all right, like, all right. In my mind, I'm like, he don't want to do, do it. it. Yeah. But this is my man. I'm eating with this nigga. This is my son. Like, we, this is in my crib with me. But I'm like, damn, I'm like, they going to shoot this nigga. You heard, bro? I'm like, they going to shoot my mans now. Yeah. So now I tell him, like, yo, fuck it. I'm going to shoot him. You heard, bro? Yeah. So he like, nah, 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 whoa, whoa, this ain't the third. So now the other big bro come. He like, Nino, nah, you ain't got to do that shit. Listen, it's a deal. And the deal is basically like a nigga that did something that got to get out the spot. Any jail you go to is a target on his head. So a nigga pulled up, that was a deal. Now, mind you, when a nigga pull up, you be in reception, so you don't see him because we in population. You don't, he don't yeah. come to the yard with us, we don't see him. So boom, they fake push that situation to the side. You the feel one me? where the dude told. Yeah, so they, because I guess, you know, these jail niggas be bugging. They be having yeah. their own shit going on, especially when they yeah. got authority. It be like, man, fuck that. This nigga did some shit to me in the other jail. He got to go. You feel me? So they fake push that to the side. So... Don't forget about this. This yeah, played a yeah. part of me getting three years in a box with this nigga. Okay. So boom. And long story short, we go back to the crib or whatever. So I tells my mans, I'm like, yo, I'm like, yo, what's going on? I'm like, yo, bro, you gotta shoot the nigga. You heard, bro? You yeah. gotta shoot him. My son, like, nah. So man, the other deal that I pulled up, I tell him, like, yo, I'ma take the deal. You heard, bro? Cause I'm just feeling to shoot somebody. You heard, bro? Yeah. I just, I'm fresh up north. I'm good in the jail. I don't yeah. got to do nothing. I'm good. But I'm just feeding the shoe something. So I'm yeah. like, yo, I'm, I'm going to take the deal. they like, oh, you bugging, bro. You good? Nah, nah. I'm like, I'm going to take the deal. I'm being in these niggas' head. Like, I'm going to do this shit. I'm going to do it. Right. They're like, all right, my, I never seen the nigga. I don't know who the nigga is. So boom, on our way, walking to the um to the gym, like in Bear Hill, it's like they call it the dead man turn because there's no cameras. Like when okay. you turn, it's like a blind. You Anything can happen. Yeah. We walk into the shit. Now... They send me the kite. I forgot this part. They send me the kite before we go to the gym. They like, yo, listen, this was gonna happen. Them two niggas is out of there. Basically, my man's and his man's. This was gonna happen. Uh, niggas gonna, you gonna pop him. You gonna pop the nigga man's, right? Yeah. Tell son to back the safety. Just get in and say, bro, all you gotta do is punch the nigga. Feel me? Once you hit him, he gonna punch him. Bro, gonna pop him. You heard, bro? Yeah. Another nigga come. So that shit happened. Boom, bop, boom. It happened yeah. on the way so to the gym. Saying, so they saying you gonna pop the one that, that pop on the one that told. I right, like basically. And then the nigga that told get yeah. cut, right? Yeah. And his man poster like pop on him, so the police could take him as like, oh, you did it, you gonna go like yeah. in the safety. Yeah. But he did. Why? As he fighting him, my other man came in, popped him, and kept it walking. Damn. So they both got shot. Damn. So you feel me? So boom, that's my first. So now that's my first time shooting nigga up north. So now. I get away. So I go to the I go to the gym, me in the gym and shit. Now I'm fake hype. I'm like, oh this shit, easy. Word. Ah, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. I have green. So now the police fake stop the movement. Ah, uh, uh, you know, regular shit. Start the movement back. Now the movement. Now my you. I'm so hype. I'm feeling like, where the other nigga at? I'm popping yeah. him when we go back. I already got my plan in my head. They like, oh, he in the way shack. I'm like, where I right. so now my son like, bro, you ain't gotta do it, bro. I'm like, nah, I'm gonna do it. Now my son now, big bro, well, he was big bro. Big nigga, you know, you up north, mad big nigga. I'm like, bro, I got it. he like, yo, look, I bet I don't now. They call go back, bro. This nigga come out the weight shack like six, seven. The one they want you to, pop. yeah, this nigga like this. The nigga <laughs> I kept running my mouth to, yeah, like, yo, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, gonna do, yeah. I'm gonna do it, bro. This nigga some big, dreadhead, brolic nigga. Yeah, so I'm looking like, oh, Damn. shit, what I just took myself into, yeah, right? Yeah. So I'm like, fuck it. So now. One of the bros like, don't worry about it, bro. I'm going to back your safety. If he front, if he don't take it on the hop, be crunching him. Ah, so I'm like, all right, for me. Go to the walkway. Now we walking back. Now we got to hit that dead man turn again. So in my mind, I'm good. Like, I know how to move now. But mind you, they just, we just shot the nigga earlier. So now police is fake on it. They fake watching in the towers. They on it. So some walking. I'm like, fuck it. I just run, jump on a nigga back. Boom, I pop him. Boom. I push him. Now I jump. I like back up back in the crowd because it's we all it's free movement. So we all yeah. walking. So he looking like. So now I'm waiting for the other nigga to pop on him because he don't know who cut him because I went in the crowd. So he's just looking. So now I got the I got the joint in my hand. So I'm yeah. standing there looking. I don't know what else to do. You heard, bro? So I'm thinking that I, I'm going to cut him. Niggas going to hop him. I'm yeah. going to walk to the crib. So when I did that, all the niggas that I was a part of. Them niggas kept it pushing, you heard, bro? Mm. So now I'm just standing there now. Now mm. it's just me standing there with the... So he see me, he charged me. 
he swing, I duck. Now, my this nigga mad big, so he swinging, I'm just ducking, ducking. But now, in Big Hill, the um the front yard, it's like a gate. It's like a yard to the front side. You can see in the annex. So now, another nigga like, yo, shorty, get rid of the hammer. Fuck what's going on? Get rid of the hammer. Get rid of the hammer. So I'm like, all right, all right. So now, I'm trying to get rid of the hammer, but I'm thinking about throwing it. He like, nah, you got to swallow that shit. You heard, bro? Yeah. So now... Some fake, I ain't gonna front. Some fake ain't fucked me up. He just slammed the shit out of me, you heard? Boom, but when he slammed me, I grabbed his dreads and I, that's how I got all that time in the box too. Because yeah. I kept cutting a nigga. I was cutting his face. I kept cutting him, cutting him. Yeah, and that's so, what I'm thinking too. It's like, I want to get rid of it, but this yeah, dude this, big yeah, as hell. Hell yeah. yeah. So I cut him. Now, is this the crazy shit. Boom, they come. He backs up off me because now the police coming. Bear Hill, police don't play. They come, he back up. He bleeding everywhere. I had enough time to throw the cap on and swallow it, right? It was like a pink cap. Yeah. Swallow the shit. My, I done swallowed the shit with the nigga blood on it and all that. It was crazy yeah. shit. It had to. It had to. Yeah. So, boom. I go to the, um, they take me to the infirmary. It's some shit called the boss chair. So, yeah. it's like you sit down on it and you slide and you and it's like a piece. You put your jaw on it side to side. So, it lets you know if you got any type of metal on you. This my first. This my first week up north. Like, yeah. my first weekend up north. I ain't get a package. I still got a surcharge. I still got state boots. You feel me? I ain't even jail yet. So now, and this is my first time ever experiencing like racism. Like yeah. really, like when you see them white, like they had me in like in a room like this, just like this, no cameras, nothing. You fucking nigga, you monkey nigga. It like yeah. it hit different when you know this shit really like. Yeah. Like then I start really. I'm like, all right, boom. So now the sergeant like, you got anything going? You give it to us. He said, we find it. We gonna kill you. Mind you, they just killed two Mexican niggas like a month before I got to the jail. Wow. So they like, we going to kill you. So I'm like, I ain't got nothing. You heard? So he like, sit on the bullshit. So I sit on the bullshit. I'm scared to death. I'm like, oh my God, these niggas going to kill me. This shit going to ring. Long story short, shit ain't ring. I go to the small box. They got me in my cell. No water, no mattress. They not feeding me. None of that. You heard? Because yeah. they know he got the razor on him. Yeah, he swallowed so, it. So now this one shit get crazy. This, is about to get, this shit's crazy. So yeah. now... The nigga who got cut, he fake told, he ain't tell that I cut him, right? But the other nigga, the other two niggas told that I cut them. And, but the nigga who I cut with the dreads, the big nigga, I had hit an artery in his face. You feel me? So now he was holding it down, but they didn't know who did it. But the CEOs were saying like, oh, he was fighting him. So we going to pin this on you. So I went to my ticket hearing. I, um, they gave me 24 months in a box. Then my first bunkie, I got it on my first bunkie. I got six more months in the box. Yeah. But before I went to the box, they had me in the shitter. The shitter is, this the most crazy shit I do in my life. Yeah. The shitter is like, I, right, you in a cell, like in a suicide smock, like you naked. Yeah. You feel me? But I was, I'm fighting these niggas so much that them niggas ain't even give me a smock. Mind you, this is my first week up north. I'm still moving like Rikers Island. Yeah. So they, I'm in the cell, butt ass naked. You heard? No yeah. mattress. The toilet don't work. It's a, it's like a glass door, like a full glass. It's not a cell. Yeah. So it's a CO sin right there, like where you saying that. And you got to shit, right? You got to do three shits to get out. You got to yeah. shit in the tray. The CO got to take your shit. Chop. This for all the young niggas that that be yeah. thinking that this shit is a game. This shit is serious. The CO got to chop this shit up with like some plastic looking knife shit to see if it's anything in your shit. You feel me? Yeah. So now to beat the shit room, you got to do some inhumane shit. You yeah. heard, bro? Yeah. So now I'm sitting there, some nigga in my video, radio, he like, yo, listen, bro. This is how you got to beat this shit, bro. You got to shit in your hand, right? Like, you got to, like, all right. You got to, the CO looking this way. Yeah. You got to face, you got to put your back to the wall, right? Shit in your hand. Yeah. Smush the shit in the wall until you feel what you looking for. Yeah. Then re-swallow it. Oh. So now, when you re-swallow, it take a couple more days for it to come, like, go yeah, do your yeah. bio shit. So now, but you're going to get an unhy... It's called unhygienic act. It's a tier three ticket. Okay. So now, I'm like, what? He's like, you got to do it, gang. I'm like, fuck Damn. it. So I had to do it. So I do it. Boom, boom, boom. So the CEO come. He like, he like, yo, why the fuck it smell like shit? Now it smell like shit. The yeah, whole cell yeah, smell like shit because yeah. it's shit all on the wall. So they, they open the cell. Boom. They put me out. I'm butt ass naked, bro. Yeah. I just had to swallow shit. Yeah. They, they tuck the hammer. I'm butt ass naked. They slapping me up on the wall. You heard? I'm handcuffed. Like they got me cuffed like this up on the wall. Yeah. Then they go on the set. Whoa, whoa, they see the shit. when they gave me the ticket. The ticket. Them niggas sent me off to the box. I was in that shit for three years, bro. Losing my mind, bro. Damn. Gangster, son. losing my mind. Gang. Yo, now 
obviously on the regular, if you tell somebody to swallow, you know, yeah, it's they, they like, hell no, I would never. But when you in, when your back is against the wall like that, you are gonna do certain things like, bro, I'm yo gang. I don't, how long did it take for you to even grasp that? Like, yo, I really gotta do this, or did you even fight with it at nah, all? Nah, I didn't even fight with it because it's like I knew with like the my environment, like it's yeah. like me, I adapt to my environment any like easy. So it's like you gotta be a gladiator in this shit, bro. Like right. you gotta like to survive. You gotta there's no weak links in this shit. You gotta be. Then I, I kept saying to myself like, bro, you a strong minded man, bro. This shit can't break you, bro. Don't let yeah. these crackers break you, gang. You good. Do what you gotta do. Go home. You feel me? That's why I was like in jail. You gotta do like inhumane shit, bro. Oh, shit. Like inhumane. Like <laughs> you got. I know niggas that that been in jail that probably won't even tell story half of the shit they had to do like in yeah. that shit bro nah that's crazy cause I, I feel like it's it was either that or they was jacking they was going three years and they yeah. would've they, first of all look I would've caught a new charge Yeah, they would've beat the shit out of me oh, and I'd've just been fucked up so now I was good I went to the box I had my hammer Yeah, I called, I called the time in the box I still had my hammer though I was yeah. good yeah, so it was yeah. like now being in the box now what what is that now that's a whole yeah, it's another new world. experience. I ain't going front. All right, they sent me the um. I did all my time in Green Shoe Two Hundred. First, I went to Upstate Box. My first bunkie. I ain't going front. I fake was nervous to this nigga at first, bro. This nigga was a fake bug out. Mind you, I never been in like no bunkie. I never been in no situation yeah. like that. So I come in the cell. So I'm walking. I was the association I was a part of. I'm walking. I'm shouting this shit out. That's how niggas do when you come out. So yeah. you know. I'm, oh, so they like, yo, they like, yo, ah, uh, yo, you going in the cell with the bug out. I'm mm -hmm. like, word. I'm like, damn, I ain't even shit my hammer out yet. None of that. I'm tight. So long story short, the shit is so crazy. The cell probably like, like from, from here to the door. You feel me? Wow. That's how big the cell is because there's two people in there. Yeah. So now come in, the rec pin to be the door. You yeah, feel me? Yeah. So, when, so when you come in the cell, they tell your bunk, you lock out on the rec pin. So you lock out, they uncuff you. They walk off, pop the rec pin. Now, it could be a nigga from, they don't give a fuck. Upstate box don't care what you jack. It could be anybody. It could be yeah. your mans. It could be a nigga you don't know. Long story short, some dude, older dude. Long story short, we chopping it up and shit. I'm just like, he just gave me a weird vibe. You heard, bro? Because I think because niggas say he was a bug out, so my yeah, brain playing tricks yeah, on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we chopping it up. Long story short, the nigga in there for killing his pops or some crazy shit. So I'm like, I'm fucking with the nigga. But you know what's so crazy? Out of my three years... That was my only bunkie. Like I really learned mad shit from like wow. mad shit or gangster. But most most of the time, that box shit was fucking me up. Especially like when my cousin died. That's what really yeah. fucked me up in the box. You feel me? Which one was it? Um, Papa. Okay. Like, okay. You feel me? When okay. Pop died, that shit really like. And the way I found out, in the way like the way the whole shit played out was crazy. I I caught what eight months on that. I beat. No, I ain't beat the ticket. I think they gave me. They cut the half of the time because I was doing the ART program. But I fuck around, beat my bunkie up, tied them up, fake had them hostages the in the cell. Out? No, no, no. Oh, I oh. moved from upstate box to okay. green box. Gotcha. So when I was in green box, it was more like adolescent, like okay. more wow, like wilder. So one of my bunkies actually, he gonna be, nigga might be tight when you see this. He was from the block. Two, okay. you feel me? He was one of the he he one of the bros, but not one of the bros, but he from the block. Okay. So I go to the rec pit one day, and where I was at in Green Box, they moved me from the L. Yeah, I'm on the yard side, so I could see the yard. So I'm facing the yard. Mind you, I had like like 41 of my men was up north at one time. You heard, bro? Wow. So every jail was like 10 of us, 12 of us. It's like we was deep. So my man spent in the yard, one of my co-defenders. He spent in the yard. He like, yo, yo, you heard what happened with Pop? I'm like, because... Last I heard, he was going to court to cop out for his case. I'm like, yeah, he yeah. copped out. He about to come up north. Ah, he like, nah, boy, he got shot. I'm like, what? He got shot? So he spin back around the yard. He like, yeah, last night on such and such block. I'm like, word? I'm like, hell no. He like, I'm telling you, boy, I just spoke to the town. Ah, so I'm like, nigga shot my cousin. I'm like, hell no, hell no. So I'm like, yo, he good? He like, nah, boy, they saying he dead. I'm like, wow. what? So now I'm sitting on my bed. Oh no, I'm on the bottom bunk. I'm sitting on the bottom bunk. I'm telling my bunk, and I felt bad for doing this to the nigga, but I was just so angry. But yeah. I'm telling my bunkie, he making a box pop for me. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, he like, yo, that shit crazy, bro. Uh, I'm like, nah, that shit not true, bro. If that shit true, it was a Saturday too, or oh, Sunday when I found out. I'm like, yo, if this shit true, I'm gonna get a visit today, gang. 
Soon as I said that, they say my last name. Ah, visit. Ooh, ooh. CEO's cutting my shit. So now my heart like this. Yeah, dude. This January, this July 4th, this is when I got this visit. So my heart beating, beating, beating crazy. Mind you, he supposed to came to see me this visit. Yeah. So in my mind, like, all right, this is just, let me get to the visiting floor to see what the fuck going on. I get down there, whatever. I see my moms. So before I sit down, I'm like, yo, what happened with Papa? She like, I see her face. I'm like, what? Like, yeah. hell no. Like, for me, we cut our business short. I go back to my cell. So now, mind you, I got three years in the box. And I got like four years to go home. You heard, bro? I yeah. still got time. So I'm just sitting there. So it's like every little thing my bunkie was doing was getting me so mad. Like, just, just getting me mad, mad, mad. I just snapped out. Yeah. Just walked in some crazy shit. Damn. Damn, yo. Now, would there have been, I mean, this might be a crazy question, but would there have been any other way for them to kind of deliver that message to you? Or nah. you, yeah, it would have been it's like over. the same outcome. See, like now, it's different. They get phones in a box and all that dumb shit. When I, like 2012, 2013, 14, 15, it was, you was in a box. There's no, if nobody writing you from the street, yeah, you don't know what's going on unless yeah. a nigga got came from a visit or somebody just came from the street and put niggas don't know what's going on. But it's crazy, but niggas be knowing what's going on in jail. Yeah, That'd be the crazy somehow shit. Somehow somebody yeah. delivered a message. Yeah. How did y'all make up like you and your, your bunkie? Oh, no, 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 no. It's so crazy. I just seen that nigga on July 4th. That's crazy. Wow. On 740, I just seen that nigga. But it was nothing to be made up about because it was like they got him on my cell. You feel mm -hmm. me? So I ain't see him until like recently when we came home. I see him. He showed, oh shit, Nino was good. Ah, you feel me? But it was like that. But I felt bad because it was like, damn. Then I had me on bunkie restriction. I could have a bunkie for like a year and a half. Yeah. Is so, that better or worse? It's yeah. cool at first because it's like you get your double mattress. You feel me? You be in a cell by yourself. You doing shit, but you'll get used to like being in a cell with somebody, chopping it up, chilling, whatever, whatever. Then you niggas be chopping up with they bunky all day till you bored. So now you on the gate talking to everybody on the gate. This shit get boring. So to the point you be begging for a bunky. Like, yo, boy, yeah. yo, give me a bunky type shit. But when I got bunkies, when I start getting bunkies, they used to, like, the sergeant and the captain used to come with the SRG paper and show me, like, yo, you know him? Because I was yeah. a part of a certain organization. So they was trying to only bunk me with my people. Gotcha. So you feel me? Gotcha. Gotcha. Would you say, like, those are, that time period was kind of like the craziest thing? That you seen? Nah, I think the crazy wow. shit I seen was in Auburn. I seen the nigga get killed in Auburn. Word. Yeah. I seen the I seen um boom, long story short, Wednesdays. They get coffee cake. Everybody noticed. Everybody going yeah. for coffee cake Wednesdays. <laughs> so yeah. like it's the mess hall workers be more, mainly like the older dudes. You feel me? They get out their crib, they get extra food, you know, they make their bread, sell the food, whatever. So now that's like you a mess worker. You my man's Pete. I come through your Pete, what up? You might throw an extra coffee cake on my shit. You feel me? Yeah. Now the next nigga be like, yo, what up? And you be like, nah, I can't do it, bro. Police watch me. Because you could have got in trouble for giving me an extra coffee cake. Yeah. So, but this my man's. I'm going to take that risk for my man's. Yeah. So the old head on some shit like, nah, bro, like I ain't. So the nigga be like, so niggas be so mad about that food shit on that mess hall line. <laughs> the nigga, the little nigga like, the little blood nigga. The little nigga like, and the old head was Muslim. The, the little nigga like, he said some shit like, Oh, you a cop ass nigga, like you a cop. So the mm. so the Muslim nigga like, yo, shorty, you saying all that of a coffee cake? You not gonna give me shit if I get keep locked. Little nigga like, what? Suck my dick, nigga. Damn. Mind you, we all I the it's crazy how the universe works. The mess hall workers got their own dorm. Yeah. But this OG was still on our company working the mess hall, and son is on our company. So we Ooh. all on the same like gallery. Yeah, you feel what I'm trying yeah. to say? So long story short. Old nigga, he ain't say nothing. He just went back to work. Like, yeah. on some calm shit. He ain't make no face. He ain't grill a nigga. He just went back to work. Boom. Mess hall workers come back. They calling the, um, the late night right. So this one, everybody back from work. This one is more, this one mainly shit go down. It's late night right. Yeah. So now, usually they start from back to the front. That's crazy how the universe work. They started from the front to the back. back. Okay. But when he did it, he popped a couple dudes out from the front, popped the Muslim nigga out. Now, when when you up north in the cells, as soon as they caught wreck, any type of movement, niggas got their mirrors out. This how yeah. niggas, this nigga's eyes, this nigga's we seen. Mm -hmm. So I got my mirror out. The OG was probably like a couple cells down from me. The blood dude was like in the first cell. What's, the, what's the mirrors for? Just to see Just to who's... see what's going on. You okay, feel me? Like okay, see okay. who walking by, see yeah. what's going on. But 
the little, the little dude passed away was in the first cell. Now, it's like a, a lock. I don't know if it's a lockbox or whatever, but the CO in Auburn, the gallery is like this big. Shit, mad little. Mm -hmm. You feel me? The CO is outside the gate on the wall, popping cells. So you could slide at a nigga cell before a CO see you. You feel me? So long story short, I got my mirror out. I see the OG. This is OG routine. He come out before they call wreck because he was a porter too. So he have a shower bag by his cell because you got to go to the yard to take a shower. He have a shower bag by his cell, his little, um, his gloves on his gate. You feel me? I, I watch people. I pay attention yeah, to shit. Yeah. So it was none of that that day. So I'm just looking like, Something all right. Different. Yeah. So feel me? They popped the little blood nigga cell. He's standing on the front. Yelling down to the like back to the back cell because you saw his man got his mirror out. Must tell him like, yo, hold the phone for me. Ah, so he telling him, yo, I right, back. Why the old nigga comes out his cell, walking and like fake pushed him back in his cell and picked him down. Boom, 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 boom. All you see is like his arm doing this. Yeah. Then you just see boom, he come out, walk back in his cell, close his cell. You see the little nigga just laying there. Then they had to leave him there for mad hours because it was programmed and shit. They had to stop all movement. They had to call the coroner. EMS, the police, sheriff, all that. The nigga was laying there, bro, with a, with a state sheet over him. So you could yeah. pitch a mirror out and really look like, yo, shit. this nigga dead. You heard, bro? That's uh, the, probably the crazy shit I seen. They shut uh, the jail down. Oh, bad crazy shit behind that shit. For, the, for How much time was the dude doing, though? Oh, OG already, he already, it's crazy. He already had, like, damn near 30 years in. Because he was yeah. telling me he was home. It was no cell phones. It was no color TV, like, it's mad crazy. shit. Word. Yeah, and and did he get caught for that? Or yeah, kind of, he got yeah, caught yeah, for that. Yeah, yeah. Gangster. He, got, that was kind he of didn't like, care. He just, like, you got to understand, bro. When you got damn near, you got life. Say if a nigga got life, and you got 26 in. You not letting one of these little niggas come play yeah. with you. I'm yeah. going to kill you. I'm not going to cut you. I'm not going to stab. I'm, I'm comfortable. I got 26 yeah. in. I already lost everybody in the streets. You heard, bro? All I know is jail. Yeah. I'm going to kill you. That's how they moving. Oh, that's crazy for a coffee. A uh, coffee cake, cake bro. Word. So picture the call his mom's got. Like, yo, you know, your son passed away. Woo -doo -doo -woo, and then find out over a fucking coffee cake game. But you know, I be hearing that so much. Like certain things that we probably would brush off in the streets. It's like so. Yeah, it's, it's over. It's, it's it way it's more, over. Yeah. Especially if nigga like <laughs> behind a wall. It's like you really gotta like. I learned that too. Like I used to be a wild young nigga, you feel me? Yeah. But you gotta, it's all about respect and morals, bro. You can't just a lot of shit don't slide. A nigga might, like you say, it might slide in the streets, but a nigga might not slide. Like you yeah. might be like, oh, this nigga a bitch ass nigga. You know your man joking around. Yeah. And then it's liable to be a whole wall behind that. Cause you call this nigga a bitch ass nigga in front of this nigga, but you usually call him a bitch ass nigga when y'all joking around. But now he feel away because he mm. with these niggas. Now he front. And it just Damn, how do you even like Communicate like it's kind of like yo, you're constantly thinking ten steps ahead. Jail turn you to like jail turn you to a wolf, bro. Like a different, like a like a whole nother person. Especially like, see, a lot of niggas be going to mediums and shit. That shit is like juvenile compared yeah. to behind the wall. That's like it go down in the mediums though. Don't get me wrong, but when you go behind the wall, you really see structure. You really see obedience. You see what like you see the shit that you supposed to see that make you say I ain't coming back to jail. Mm. A medium, it's like. You just freely, like, you just, you know, niggas still don't want to come to jail, but when you go behind that wall and you get cool with an old nigga and he finally tell you, yo, bro, I got 30, I got 30 years and I came in jail when I was 17, this, that, and the third, woo, woo, woo. You start yeah. seeing shit, niggas in there, 25 to life with nothing, no family, walking around, state boots, going to every child, fucked up, they got to do this for life, they don't got nobody, like, you yeah. feel me, it's, it's shit is crazy. That shit really opened your eyes, though. Damn, are they, and those people, I know you said the ones that's doing life, they kind of cope with it easier. Are even those people who have nobody, are they still living life in there as calm, as free as someone else? It depends. It's like the streets, bro. It's like, all right, if you're a street in the streets and you fucked yeah. up, you're going to be a hustler. You feel me? In jail, you fucked up. You got certain niggas that don't got nobody, but they hustle. They sell cigarettes. They got a store. They selling snacks. They yeah. making it happen. But you got certain niggas that's just fucked up. Like, just yeah. don't got nothing. Like, you feel me? Got to depend on what the jail get them. You feel me? Then you got certain niggas that do got people that's fucked up because they selling everything they getting for drugs. So mm. it's just like, dang. Man, so... After I guess after that bit, you was kind of like, yo, I'm good. Yeah, that shit fake. That fake. That shit woke me up, OD. I think by me losing my cousin and shit, even me doing the jail time, like going, being in jail, 
it was like it was rough. It was mad. It was OD rough. But by me losing my cousin, knowing I was in jail and I had like more years of doing this, nothing I could do to like nothing. Like I couldn't go to the funeral. I couldn't call the town. I couldn't yeah. speak. I spoke to the town three years later after my cousin died. So it was like wow. three years after he died. So it was just yeah. like you feel me. I be seeing certain situations where they actually let certain inmates. Yeah, it gotta be like your immediate family. It okay. gotta be like your mother, father, your your blood brother, shit like okay. that. You feel me? And plus, I was in a box for a violent charge, so they wasn't even letting me go. They didn't even let his brother go. His little brother was in up north too. He got life, yeah. but they ain't even let him go. Gotcha. Damn. Damn. You know, with, with everything you've been through, is there have you ever any regrets to anything? Yeah, it be sometime. It, it, yeah, it is. It is. It is. I regret being loyal to certain people that I shouldn't. Not saying I shouldn't been loyal to or like I should have did something to. Like I should have yeah. just stayed away from. Yeah, like I should have like. Is. You know, you young, you peep certain shit, but you young and you feel like oh these the bro, these my friends or these niggas. Are, you feel me? Like a message to everybody. I was like, it don't matter what you do in the streets, how good you do it, how much pain you put in, how much you do. You go in jail, niggas don't care about you, bro. I don't care. Mm. It may look cool because a nigga probably like, oh, nah, they, niggas don't care about you, bro. It's, it's going to be life going to go on. Niggas going to finish yeah. going, smoking their little sprinkles, popping their perks, drinking their lean, yeah. fucking bitches, doing what they doing. You just going to be in there. Put, you know how many niggas I done seen? That was somebody in the street putting on for their gang and this, that, and the third up north and be like, I don't fuck with them niggas, fuck them niggas. I was one of them niggas, you heard, bro? Yeah. Fuck them niggas, bro. I am niggas ain't doing shit for me, bro. I, but I, but see, I never changed over my, like, I still was my, I still was cho, like, God, yeah. but it was always like, fuck niggas. But then I had to sit back and think, like, nigga, we all been through the same shit, bro. Like, niggas don't, we didn't have older niggas to show us how to, this how you take care of your man in jail. This what you got to do. This you got to do. We had to go through it ourselves. Now we the older yeah. niggas. So now we see like, all right, this what you got to do. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. Damn. It's crazy because um, that leads me to another question. Even like about how to handle co talking to cops or not talking to cops, this and that. I feel like I was just talking to somebody about that. Like no snitching. You know, everybody feel like Yo, this is a street term, whatever, but... In my household, you learning that as a kid from your parents, just on some mind your business. I remember seeing somebody die in front of my buildings. I was living in Brooklyn at the time. And um, when the cops came, we was living on like the first floor. When the cops came asking questions, my dad was like, what? We don't know nothing? Told my mom like, yo, bro, don't, we not saying nothing. So you learning that at a young age. Don't tell, don't tell. But I do, I do ask this. When a child does take that, um, I guess that he makes a decision to get in the streets, is there ever any older dudes who educate you on what to say and what not to say? Because what I'm finding is that people might be thinking they're trying to outsmart the cop, and in the course of a conversation, you tell him. No, nah, that's a fact. Hell yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, did, were you ever told how to not tell or just like, yo, don't tell, bro? And that's nah, it. Nah, that's why I think my generation, it was always, it was a lot of weird shit going on. Like, yeah. if you pay attention, like, because we ain't have old, like I said, we didn't have older niggas guiding us to do nothing. We just had to learn ourselves. So mm -hmm. it's just like common sense. You go in there, they ask you some shit, don't say nothing. Just yeah. don't say shit. You feel me? So it's like, but you, you said you got certain niggas that think they smarter than the cops or they out tricking them. And you feel me? So it's like, me, I don't say shit, you heard, bro? At the end of the day, I, I've been learned that from young, like juvenile days. Because if you locking me up and you questioning me, that means you don't got shit on me. If you was going to lock me up and you had some shit on me, you was sending me right to the island. So it's like, then it's like, you a cop. By me telling you anything, you can't release me. Because I already called the DA. They ready to, for, you from trying to say, that, yeah. for me to go see the judge and all that. All you doing is trying to get a fucking... Pay raise off of me. You from trying to say yeah. so? It's like, nah, I don't play. You're just taking me from one spot to another. Yeah, they you can't they, stop me from. They can't going. trick me like that. Yeah. Hell no. Got you. Is it is it shocking to see what's going on with like Code Thirty Three's page and all the names that's popping up? Nah, Code Code Thirty Three really my. That's my son. That's yeah, like yeah, that's my yeah, son. Yeah, yeah, but it's like, it's not shocking, bro, because <laughs> you gotta remember, bro. This shit is a myth. If, yeah. Like Sun said, this shit is all a facade, bro. This shit is a facade to the point where you got niggas that's, that, that's really in this shit. Like, 
that we really want to shed tears. Like, bro, this shit is really fake. You got real niggas out here going through real shit. You got fake niggas out here just doing fake shit. You feel me? Yeah. I say it's like, it's like, then it's, it's so fucked up because I say these females play a role because say a nigga a rat or some crazy shit, right? Boom. Boom, boom, boom. They still jack this nigga, so yeah. they'll make the everybody look at it like he didn't do nothing wrong. Yeah. Cause that be niggas' main thing but telling right now. Like this generation, they get locked up. They not think about oh, I want to go home. They think about their marries. They think about oh, yeah. another another nigga fucking their girl. They thinking about damn I ain't gonna be riding around in renties no more. Yeah. It's just the clout. They think about their clout. So that's why it's a lot of telling going on right now, bro. You know, it's crazy that you say that. I would always tell my girl, you know what I'm saying? It like, I ain't gonna put all blame on women, but I do feel like women um can, men will move in whatever direction the women say they jack. And like, if today women say, we like dudes who are scientists, mad niggas gonna start reading books. What, we read, everybody wants women, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I used to ask her, I'm like, yo, just keep it real, you know, like, if I told, you're not going to leave me. And she like, nah, most women not. You That's know what it. I'm saying? Because they, their love is, is not for that. I get it. Yeah, I get it. I get it's, that. It's, but I do see the flaw in that because this is what I would tell her. If I could, if I could knowingly like, throw my issues on somebody else, you shouldn't even jack me as a man to lead you. Because that's that's wrong. Yeah, gangster. You know what I'm saying? That, and I feel like that's how I feel about people who snitch and all that. It's like, I'm not going to say to you, like, yo, you're the worst person in the world. But I can, a part of me can say I can't trust you to a certain degree. And I, for me, I always heard how you do one thing is how you do everything. So if you just lazy here I ain't, or, or, or you bad there, I'm not going to think you bad there. I'm going to think you just, you, I don't know, bro. Push come to shove, you're not going to be honorable here as well. You know what I'm saying? And But I, 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 I can't see women being like, I ain't jacking no rats unless she in the streets. Yeah. You know? Females, like, be, females don't give a fuck about nothing. Nah, nah, they, 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 you know what it is? Think about it. Women just, it's, it's like, it's, it's nur they nurture us, man. You know what I'm saying? So they want just harmony. You feel me? Men, we more like, nah, bro, it's respect, bro. You got to, I'm, I, we don't need to talk until you get this right. But so I can understand the women sometimes too. It's kind of yeah. like they just want peace and all that. She wants sure they want her family. You know what I mean? Um, I do have a question though. I remember I asked this. I was doing a little game with uh, some women on my show. Um, I asked them, would they ever take six months for their man if they knew their man was going to have to do 12 years? You know what I'm saying? And most of the girls was just like, hell no. Whoa, that's 90. <laughs> yeah. But there was one shorty on there. She was like, are you kidding me? I'm doing that six months gladly. And her uh, her perspective was, all right, if I do six months, I'm just not going to see my man for six months. He can still come see me, whatever. I come home. If he do 12 years, I'm not seeing him for 12 years, you know? But then, some of the girls was like, what if you get cut in there, you know, like? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I gotta ask you, what, let's say, it's kind of tough, like, how do you view that? Like, could you, let's say you about to do, you, you would have to do 12 years, and, and, but Shorty could do six months. And she back on the street, and you back. Yeah, everybody's good. How would you handle that? How you know? How do you? She go gotta about do that? the six. Like she yeah. got. Not saying she gotta do it, but like yeah. the conversation to be like, like you just said, you doing six months. This is yeah. about nothing. You feel what I'm trying to say? Yeah. I think my girl gonna do the six months. You heard what? Yeah. I yeah, hell yeah. That's like common sense. I do that for like for yeah. my man's like. Yeah, 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 yeah. But but. Would you ever feel the way if like something happened in there? Like, yeah, yeah, that'd feel you know crazy. Like, but it'd still be like you coming home. You gotta yeah. just chuck that shit up. You be home in six months. For Twelve years, six yeah, months. You crazy. Gotcha, gotcha. Bet. Um, talk about uh, AC. You know, when he passed away, we all know like that was kind of a big one, right? Where mm -hmm. it, it kind of caused a lot of issues. But by that time, was it was it already up or or was it yeah, kind it was, of it was, brewing? It was brewing. Gotcha. You know, he passes away. Now, 
his funeral was it was it was it on y'all side their side uh, no nah, uh, it was neutral? it was on like mutual grounds like mutual grounds it was right there like i forgot what block like you know what boys and girls at that funeral home right there yes, by boys and girls yes. right there Got you. So that's kind of like they beat you grams, yeah. yeah. What was what was that whole time period like? What was that funeral like? What what occurred that day? What was that like? That day was crazy. I ain't even gonna front. That day was like because I when AC first died, nobody knew who killed AC. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say you got people from this side calling us saying it was dumb, and this it you got. People from this side calling us saying it was these niggas, and these niggas calling us saying it was these niggas. So mm. we just on some like we don't know what's going on until later on. Long story short, so I right, AC is from Grafton. You feel me? Yeah. So Grafton Union over there in them areas. So now when he passed away, you got certain other people coming to show they love, certain females coming to show they love. You feel me? Trying to say, mind you, nobody know who did this. Yeah. You know, but females always the first one to get the news. Yo, that's a fact, yo. So now we in a we in a fucking we in a wait or whatever. They they doing a eulogy or whatever, whatever, whatever. We chilling, we chilling. This one they was called um what's they called? My son, I fuck with my son Spider too. So it's okay. like I ain't trying to diss the spider none of that. It's my son. Um they was cream team. Okay. Cream team coming in. Yeah. They supposed to have been linked with Wave Gang or some shit like that. Woo the woo the woo. Spider and them coming. I look. I'm like, all right. Now it's so crazy, mind you. We with the niggas. We into it now. That's that shit is crazy. How shit is. So we with. Long story short, we chilling. They doing the eulogy. Them niggas walk in. I look. I turn back around. I look at my man's. So I'm like, yo. What the fuck is these niggas doing here? This yeah. time the third. So he like, oh wow, ah, they's paying respect to AC. So now when our homegirls come to us, like, yo, she telling us like, yo, these niggas did it and told us the whole story, broke it down. Wow. Boom, boom. As she's saying this, is a group of girls coming in there now. When a group of girls come in there, she like, yeah, and them bitches be with uh, them people from over there. Woo -woo. So niggas like, where are uh, And leaving out the free. This is my first time I knew like they be having like undercover cops and like people funerals and shit like that. Because wow. now it's so crazy. I went in the bathroom. This shit, Matt, oh, I can talk about this shit. We go to the bathroom. It's me, this rat ass nigga Boogie, and Papa. Yeah. We go in the bathroom. It's a nigga in the bathroom. My son give me, he give me the rod. Yeah, Boogie give me the rod. And the old nigga just staring, like just looking at us. Like just looking at us. So I'm not, I'm thinking he like AC uncle or some like family member. So we get the shit. He pulls, like he tap Papa. I guess I, niggas got a big family. You feel what I'm trying yeah. to say? Yeah. My uncle, he used to, God bless the dad, he used to have like a team called Mobile the Jaguars, a Pop Warner team. Yeah. So he know a lot of people in Brownsville. You know what I'm saying? He know a lot, a lot of people. Yeah. The dude that was there, he must have been working in the precinct because AC grandmother was like a a, a retired correctional officer, a cop okay. or something. So okay. he told Papa like, yo, you know, there's a bunch of undercover cops in here pointing them out. Now we looking like, oh shit. So he like, I could have been an undercover cop and shot one of y'all in his bathroom right now. Y'all just brandished a firearm. Yeah. So long story short, we go outside now. The girls arguing. So I'm, I'm like, what the fuck going on? Like, yeah, these bitches be with them. Ah. So now they arguing. This girl hit another girl in the head with the lock in the sock. Boom. Right. Once she did that. It was all hell broke loose, bro. Yeah. It was all hell broke loose. It was a riot, bro. Niggas just getting it on. Every funeral was Like, crazy. outside of it, though. Yeah, like, yeah, outside. Yeah. Like, just everybody just wow. It was a big old thing. But it was so crazy. We was mainly beating up, like, bitches, though. That's the crazy. Yeah. It was like, it was it was a couple niggas with them, yeah. though. But it was just mad bitches. But they was from over there. You yeah. know what I say? So that, that shit was crazy, though. Where, what made them, I guess, like, this might be a crazy question, but what made them even feel comfortable to present themselves? They didn't the know. You got to remember, oh. when this shit happened, they fake the people like was involved when they had did it. It was like kept quiet. They was gotcha. moving right at first because nobody knew. So yeah. I guess like the little bitches that's from their side, they didn't really know. They're not gonna just tell bitches like, "Yo, we just." Ooh, ooh. They thinking like, oh, AC passed away. You know, around that time, every time somebody passed away, people want to be mixy. So everybody going to everybody's yeah. funeral, all the bitches. And that shit, that shit went crazy. Yeah, gangster. Yeah. Now I feel you. I feel you. Now, when when that happens, like, what's the stories after? Like, what do people, what do people even say after? That whole day was a movie. Like, that that shit was crazy. His 
His grandma was with him. He used to look at me like I was like, 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 feel me? Like, this nigga bugged out. Yeah. But his brother, Wayne, he just came home. This would grew me and him so close because Wayne never knew us. Like, we was like little kids to him because he was older than AC. So when he came home, he, we was in a limo. Shit got crazy. Niggas done jumped out the limo with the rod because we, yeah. we done seen niggas. So his brother just looking at us like, yo, nah, y'all niggas really like on this shit for my little brother. Like, you feel yeah. me? Y'all like, so it was like that. It was a crazy day, but it really brought us closer to his family. Like, his family really like looked at us like, yo, you got really for my, like, you feel me? Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know, I'm seeing people in Garvey dropping rakes now. Yeah. Cause it's what, like what's 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 going on with all that? Like, that's the little. All right, you gotta understand this, bro. My niggas, like on my side, it's like this, bro. I'm trying to word this shit the right way. Yeah. Basically, yeah. like, I. Right, if if another side, like, remember I was telling you that we don't fuck with a lot of people from like the bush. Yeah. Canal C, like the people think that we link with and tie with, it probably be certain niggas fuck with certain niggas. Yeah. But you gotta remember, once you, it's a, it's a bunch of little niggas like going at it right now. So, right, you feel me? So, yeah. you gotta remember, my generation, our dead bros is not these little niggas' dead bros. So, yeah. these other little niggas don't give yeah. a fuck. So, he'll be arguing with one of little bros and be like, what? Fuck such and such. Mm. So, now he'll be like, what? Fuck such and such. And it'll be like, oh, it's lit. Now it's lit. So, now, you said fuck my dead man's, I said fuck your dead man's, and it's now I'm GDK, yeah. and then it's just like, I'm GD, but I'm GDK, and it's just, I don't know, bro, this is, <laughs> I'm Wu K, I'm not GD, I don't got nothing, yeah, I'm yeah, just, yeah. I'm, you know, but I just, I play my part, and I just back my little bros, like, I just tell them when they wrong, you yeah. heard? I tell them, like, y'all niggas is bozos, y'all, but at the end of the day, I'm a back on me, bro, like, yeah. it is what it is, hey, GDK, GDK, fuck yeah. it. But, you know, I always ask this, like, um, I know in so many different, I, and and if if I'm asking this question wrong, you could correct me. But I look at it like when I think about the streets, right? I feel like in nowhere in life can the younger crowds uh, create the. Oh man, in nowhere can the younger crowds make the rules, right? But I feel like in the streets, sometimes it looks like. All right, let's say if the younger dudes is going at it, the older dudes is going back it. But if you look at like other, let's let's just say corporations, right? Like, all right, it's gonna be the people with seniority who says what goes, what doesn't go. It doesn't matter if you feel this way. The company says this. You know what I'm saying? Why is it that in the streets it's it's almost like all right, we gotta back the little bros. This is how they feeling, and we gotta support them. Why is it like that? It play a big part because like. We ain't had that. That's one, right? Mm, okay. Two niggas look at look look up to us for like guidance and the protection. You feel me? Three, I can't sit there and preach to them some positive shit if I'm doing the opposite, right? And plus, they they took on our beef. You know what I'm trying to say? They so it's like, why would I just sit here? And not saying I'm gonna be in a car running around looking for 14, 15 year old little yeah, kids yeah. and all that <laughs> yeah. dumb shit. I don't know. But it's just like. All right, y'all GDK, y'all on some GI, or for instance, example, y'all GDK, or y'all getting on some, like, for instance, niggas got some backdoor cho shit, you heard, bro? So yeah. now, all right, this what niggas on, this what y'all on? So it's like, all right, cool, this what niggas on. I'm, I don't give a fuck, whatever, y'all my little mans, I'm just, I'm with y'all, you heard, yeah. bro? That's that shit. ain't scary, though, like, now even the whole backdoor cho thing, it's like, you cho, you could be, you could potentially be in a scenario where. But look, where... see, with that, that's how we niggas been forever. Mm. It's just like, it's like, I right, well, me, a lot of niggas that call me, niggas be calling me Bishop, niggas call me Snake, niggas call me all type of shit, you heard, bro? Yeah. So it's like, certain shit, like, this is so crazy, Freshy told me this, like, he really broke this down to me, because I've been saying, like, oh, backdoor cho, we want some backdoor shit, ooh, right? Me and Aki, that's what me and Aki was on, right? Yeah. So... I felt like once I put that on my name, like like I, I start like pushing that, people start really looking at me like, yeah, he's in, he's 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 really on some backdoor shit. So yeah. like Freshy said, like niggas just gotta embrace it. This how niggas looking at us, and this is what niggas thinking. Nigga, we gonna embrace it, and this is how we coming, cause it, it is what it is. If you ain't with what niggas on, or if you ain't with the cause, nigga, yeah. you that's what that's what come with that. So it's like, gotcha. that's it. 
Gotcha. Does that have anything to do with like the issues? I guess you see how you was like, um, I think earlier you said uh, the guys who walked in from um, the guys who walked into the funeral. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how we kind of cool with them, but the guys we were with now is kind of tension. Does that have anything to do with that too, or that's a separate situation? Nah, that the dudes that situation had to do with my cousin Pop dying. Okay. The dudes that we was with, he passed away on Nate Block, and that shit started a whole confusion with them. So that's gotcha. like, what happened with Howard and Garvey? Like, man, what? I man, shit used to happen with like, cause I, I, I like I was telling you, bro, growing up. Garvey was never the place as in you gonna go over there, you gonna see Pop, you gonna see Nino, you gonna see, you gonna see, you gonna see like T.I. You will barely see Coach because we was on Strauss. We had a crib yeah. on Strauss where we was green, so we was never really in Garvey. Go get our weed, chill here and there. Yeah. So niggas get confused. They see the Ock Candle Lightings and the shit thing and like, oh, this day Garvey, they ain't Garvey. So basically, damn, how I could put this? I go fit this. We talking about the fallouts, right? Yeah. I. Howard niggas used to go to Garvey to get weed because they used to sell like GDs, big ass greens called Gar Garvey Dumps. So niggas used to go over there and get weed. The bros, they was like hood stars or whatever, but they wasn't really like outside. If I want to say no disrespect to the bros and that like for me, but they wasn't really. That was just the bros, like you know we throw yeah. it out with them. But though they wasn't in the crib with us. They wasn't, they didn't know what the fuck was going on around the corner. You know what I'm gotcha. trying to say? Gotcha. So now, Howard niggas knew what was going on around that corner. They was in that crib with us every day, this and the third. So the bros, I used to feel like either it was jealousy or what, whatever it was. I don't know. Every time that Howard niggas used to go to Garvey, it used to be some weird shit. Like, you feel me? So now they come back, tell me, mind you, I'm hood stars. So they like, oh, your niggas over there front. Oh. To the point I used to be like, bro, what y'all niggas want to do? Y'all want to go over there? Y'all want to fight them niggas? What I want to do? Uh, yeah. So, long story short, so it's always been tension. Like, always been tension with mm -hmm. Howard and Garvey. Then, KB and Tech shit. When the KB and Tech shit happened, it broke the ice. Gotcha. And then when I came home, it's just like, niggas back together. Now, now you're going to see a Howard nigga and Garvey. You're going to see a Garvey nigga and Howard. Niggas may not like each other, but niggas still is still like, you feel me yeah, saying? I guess cordial. Yeah, it's and cordial. Everything. Yeah, I just was we I was just yesterday, I was just with Wes, Glitty, like original Howard, day one in Garvey. Like these the bros. They gotcha. just, like, was there any red flags with that? Yeah, it is. It is, it is. It's it's mad shit going on. Like it was a politics, like, for instance, like it's politics a dude from over there told on my cousin. In the case he locked up for, you feel me trying to say? I ain't seen, I'm a real nigga, you heard, bro? It's my cousin is in jail. He's telling me this. I can sit there and be like, oh, my cousin tell me. I didn't see no paperwork, so yeah. I can't say this man did anything, you feel me? So I'm not going to say he a rat, but that, it's just mad little shit, like, just be chance, like taking place. And then from my side, like, everybody on my side that was somebody was in jail, you feel me? Right. So... Nobody really had a say so to be on some shit like that niggas bugging. Ah, uh, so it seemed like I right, they ki oh tech died from over there. We don't like them anyway. Ben Bino ain't trying to do songs with niggas. He mm. be from a coca. Fuck them niggas. Fuck how it. Woo, woo. It was mm. no day one nigga home original nigga that was home to say what. That's a dub. But they had a couple niggas from over there. But they back in they niggas now. Like what? I right, fuck y'all Garvey niggas. My niggas yeah. now. I don't fuck with y'all. I fuck with Brown and them. Y'all them niggas in jail. You feel yeah, me? So. Yeah. That's how that shit played out, but that 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 KB and Tech shit, that shit really, really That's broke the ice. Up. And then my niggas on my side was so thirsty to try to beat. They didn't have no guidance. Every look, they look. Coca just came around. Niggas thinking he the big, yeah, Cho and this down there. It just like gotcha, gotcha. I guess why did why was there friction with Bambino and and uh and Coke? I'm um, not Coke. Coca. Coca? Oh yeah. I'm bugging. They was going at yeah. it. What what was that all about? I that shit was music shit. I long story short, this this what I got out of it, right? Boom, I, I come to the town, boom, boom, I see niggas saying they not fucking with Bam, this down the third. So now I'm Bam Bino is my son Beans. Beans is the original Cho. That's yeah. his little brother. You feel me trying to say? So off of that, I was just straight. Like y'all niggas bugging. It's Beans little brother. You feel me? Y'all bugging. So now I holla at the nigga Udri Woo. 
He telling me like, yo, bro, this is what really happened. This is my side of the story. I'm like, all right, he like, ben B. Ben, yeah, this. basically like, and I get him. I I know how my niggas is, so they can't say he lying or he. Fr I know how my niggas is, you know, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So long story short, you had niggas like Mo Money, K Dot, Melo. These the niggas that was fake lit mm -hmm. with the music shit. They dropped the Who Got Me Is This. They lit. Bambino was younger than all these guys. So now he's coming from where he was living at to Brooklyn. Yeah. He's seeing this shit. He's looking up to these niggas like, oh, these the bros. I'm trying to do a song with y'all. I want to do a song with y'all. They curving him, curving him, curving him, curving him. You mm -hmm. feel me? Now, he get his little circle. They do their shit. He get lit. Now what? Niggas nah, reach want. out. Curving. Now he curving them. Like, fuck out of mm -hmm. here. We, we FTG. We woo woo. He not wrong for that. Now the bros looking at it like, what, nigga? What you mean? Nigga, we... I guess hood star niggas be feeling like they got seniority or like, okay. like over, like, you feel what I'm trying to say? Like... But it's not everybody got nuts, you heard, bro. So it's like, for me, I get it. So Coca and them start. Bambino got shot, allegedly over that. Well, he did get shot. Allegedly, yeah. they say he told you heard, bro. Yeah. It's no paperwork. I never like I ain't never see no paperwork. I ain't never do none of that, right? See none of that. So now, Coca, the type of nigga. That's my son too. But like I said, I know my man. This yeah. how, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Should I, I don't want to, matter of fact, I'm not going to say, I'm going to let when okay. he come home, he going, because I ain't want to break down his method, how he make music, because okay. the way he make music is like his own secret formula method. Okay. I was about okay. to break it down to catch myself, but gotcha. he the type of dude, long story short, if we talking and he has just sit there and listen, so we could be talking about Tommy from fucking yeah. Queens. Woody, 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 yeah, this nigga Tommy, yo, he got snuffed out the day in the club. Some shit happened with the Queens nigga, he already knows some shit about Tommy, so now his, his, his songs would be so accurate, yeah. it'd be like, you know what I'm trying to say? Coco like, was here saying a lot. <laughs> yeah, so it'd be like, so his this song's really this songs, you know what I'm trying yeah. to say? So with Bambino, it was like, ah, he lit, ah, ah, then I, um, Coco manages from Howard too, that's the crazy part. So now, he make the song, woo, 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 then remember, Tay made the song, All the Real Children's from Garvey. Yeah. That got me, Faye had me tight. Tay, that's my, that's my heart, he crazy. But... That's like, damn, Tay, you original too. You wasn't supposed to be promoting that, bro. You wasn't yeah. supposed to be like, that shit got a million views, gang. You wasn't supposed yeah. to be promoting all the real choices from Garvey. How? Because yeah. yeah. cause how would niggas could really get on some bullshit and say, and, and really, and like, niggas did a lot for this shit, basically. You feel what I'm trying to say? And say, yeah. with niggas, like, who, like, you trying to say? So it's like, that, that shit played the part. So when, when Coca did that with Ben Bino, like I told you, Ben wasn't coming to the block. Not saying he was scared to come to the block. It's just like, he just wasn't. I don't know what niggas on. Yeah. So I'm on some shit like, what, nigga? You coming to the block. We shooting a vid. We outside. You from trying to say, yeah. call a highway nigga to the block. Ain't nothing going on. And what happened? He came to the block. He was green. Because yeah. it's like, my generation of niggas, we not with none of that fake tough shit. You heard, bro? So a fake tough nigga not going to do no tough shit around us. That's... Anybody I'm around, like my my like solidified circle, you can't do fake tough shit because that's bullying. Niggas don't like bullying. Like niggas zero tolerance for bullies. You heard, bro? Okay. So it's like, not saying they was bullying Bam. It's just saying like, who the fuck is y'all to say that this nigga can't come to the block because this other rapper nigga and him going at it and he that's a dub. You heard, bro? Yeah. So that's how that shit played out. Gotcha. So gotcha. it's no more longer a fallout with YG and like uh, everybody back together. Everybody yeah. still for me. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now I, I guess when when Tay makes that song right, um, um, all the rule chosen from Garvey. Now is there like a conversation after like, yo, why do that or? Nah, or... see Tay the type of dude you don't have conversations with Tay. It's gonna be just <laughs> an argument. You gotta just yeah. say straight argument with him because he yeah. just. Say crazy, but nah, I ain't really asked him too much about the song because he always in and out of jail. He just, I was just talking to him yesterday, he just came home and shot a video too. But I'm telling a nigga, like, hold on, he home, yeah, take home, we in the town. But look, don't wait, don't put this out yet until he uh, drop his, yeah, like, yeah, don't yeah, put that, yeah, yeah, to, yeah, 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 but yeah, 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 he, he in the town. Right, right. So it's like, you know, everybody, everybody putting shit together, but it's just that, like. They still the little bro. That's big homie Tay, because he yeah, don't get pissed yeah. off if you see this. That's big yeah. homie Tay, but those still like the little bros. You get what I'm yeah, trying to say? Yeah, so yeah. niggas just probably felt like fuck them. Like I said, they don't had Tay and them wasn't in Howard every day how we was. So they ain't had that little bond. They wasn't going on drills with Howard niggas or doing shit yeah. with Howard niggas to be like, all right, so they on some shit I'm on, like, 
Fuck these GD niggas over there. Fuck them GD niggas over there. So they also yeah. fuck the Howard niggas. Fuck the Howard niggas. But you can't yeah. do that. Yeah. Because they, this the guys. They, 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 they from the mud with us. Like we yeah. done. Like you feel me? You can't yeah. do that. That I always say that. I'd be like, yo, why isn't there ever like a com- before it gets before it gets too far? Why not just have a conversation? You feel me? Before it's like yo, f them. I yeah, that's care. that's what you me know? and like me and my bros, we do that a lot. Like my little yeah. bros, like fresh and them niggas. Dumb niggas be in some new shit every day, you heard, bro? So we really got to yeah. be telling them, like, but little do people know that little nigga is mad, like, he got mad knowledge, bro. Like, yeah. you feel what I'm trying to say? So it's like, they listen, but it's just like, I could see it. Like, a lot of, that's why you think so many sides, why you think anybody GDK? Because they don't got no guidance. Nobody, none of they big bro saying, bro, what the fuck is you th- dropping a rake for? What do you do? Not yeah. even, you don't even know no GDs. What are you doing? Like, Fix up, bro. Yeah. So that's why it's like no guidance type shit. So my not saying that we give the best guidance to our little bros, but we try to show them like, yeah. bro, you ain't got to really keep doing all this shit. That's why if you notice, niggas be slowing down. Niggas just beefing who they beefing with. They ain't really trying to start no new shit or no, because it's like new beef come with new jail time and new bodies. You yeah. heard, bro? That's yeah. all that shit come with. Yeah, now I ain't going to lie. The last time when we did the interview with Freshie and all that, I felt like that was a new person that we were talking to a, a lot of people were saying that like it was a new person um his mindset was different definitely like positive way yeah. more positive or um let's talk about uh i seen this post right i see this post from bleezy this was from years ago you know what i'm saying years ago where bleezy posts you know wave gang pbg and he he it's the H and up, I guess it's... That's H hush. up. That's how you used to put hood stars. Yeah, yeah, 2010. You know, <laughs> when I see that, you know, when I see that, it's kind of like, obviously, we all like, wait, hold up. You know, this is Bleezy doing this. You know what I mean? That's the time period where people were cool. Yeah, remember I was telling you with Melo, like, it, it was a possibility we could have been... That right there, what you just said, Wave Gang, PBG, Hood Stars. Wow. It was a possibility. They was already into it with Howard. You get what I'm trying to say? Ah, true. We, we got cool with TBO, and the way we got cool with TBO was crazy. We fake got into, they fake chased us, fake tried to jump niggas and all that. Yeah. But when we all got cool, we all picked up Howard Beef. You get what I'm mm-hmm. trying to say? So it's like, mm-hmm. once you picked up Howard Beef, it's just like, Fuck niggas. Yeah. But that goes to show you, when I come up here, bro, I don't be lying. I'm yeah. not going to never lie to you about what's going on. If I'm trying yeah. to say it's certain shit we could talk about, it's certain shit we can't. Yeah. But the shit we could talk about, I'm not going to lie to you. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So you got some niggas be like, what? We was never, what, what? That shit is right there in black and white. You heard, bro? It's right there on the internet. You could look that shit up and see the post. It's, yeah. You feel know what I'm trying to say? So it's like, even with Ock died, niggas were saying, RP, Ock, damn, that's crazy. Because that was like, a first death for a lot of people, like yeah. to really see, like, oh shit. And then it was like two death back to back, like my side, they, like you know what I say. So it was like, oh, yeah. this shit again. But but Ak was kind of loved by both sides, or no? Am I yeah, wrong? yeah, basically, yeah, because Ak was Ak, bro. Ak was the type of Ak was a big young nigga. Ak, like he wasn't. Ak was just I can't explain it. Like he was just like you said, he was just love, but he yeah. was like a bully though. You okay. heard, bro? He was like a big young. He's a bully, but. Bleezy and the mummy, they Brownsville niggas. Everybody going to the same schools, same yeah. after school programs, playing on the same football teams. My moms know your moms, or my pops know your pops. That's a lot of that shit going on. Like my pops and your pops used to be men's, and you yeah. know what I'm trying to say? So that's how that shit go. So, yeah. If there's, you know, with this whole shit, all of these, these stories, you know, when you think about it, if there's one thing you could change, what? Well, would there be anything you would change if you could? And if you could change it, what would it be? If I could change something? Yeah. I'd change that, like, that be all the beef shit, bro. That shit would be, I, like, I, I wish that, like, just imagine, like, Garvey, Brownsville, L.A., Suffolk, Glenmore, Van Dyke, Howard, all fuck with each other, like everybody just fuck with each other, like or yeah. or it, it, or not even fuck with each other. It's like it was no beef, like niggas just could want it'd be for me. You know how much money be generating around Brownsville, or so much shit to be getting accomplished and done. Yeah. But it's just like, who am I to say anything? But to the kids that's just getting into this shit or think about getting into this shit, yeah, it's not even worth it, bro. 
Yeah. It ain't worth it. You don't get a dollar. I know niggas that's out here. Myself, you heard, bro? You got niggas that's, you don't get no doggy bag. You don't get no trophy. You don't get no fucking nothing out of this shit, bro. It's yeah. no nothing. You get your five minutes of fame. Yeah. And that's it, gang. Could, could, could there ever be, I guess, like, um, because when I had Tay Mac up here, he was talking like, yo, if you a certain age, uh, on both sides, people shouldn't even be jacking, woo, or trouble. I wanted to say something about that shit, too. Yeah. I, I get what he's trying to come from with that, but at the same time, bro, you got to remember, this woo Cho shit is so much, this shit is like a nation now, you heard, bro? So it's like, it's no longer that, oh, he 14, how you Cho? What you mean, nigga? I'm from the block. Nigga, I know what's going on. Nigga, my cousin is such and such. Or fuck my cousin or my friend. I'm from the block. Or I'm Cho. I know what's going on. Them niggas jump me in school. The little niggas, they from over there because I be over here. I'm Cho. So it's like, you can't really not say like, oh, nigga, you not Cho. Yeah. Little nigga be like, what? What you mean I'm not Cho? You get what I'm trying to say? You not. Because I be going through that too. Because like, you not really like. You wasn't there. Yeah, but you, yeah. niggas, you brody. Like, you cho. Yeah. yeah, that's the cho. That's little bro. But it's like, yeah, you can't say that to these little niggas. Little niggas will kill you for some shit like that, bro. You yeah. crazy? So, because they got their <laughs> own mind frame. They yeah. got their own thoughts. They losing their own friends. Like, it's a whole new chapter of this shit now. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So that's like, Larry O, a lot brim or one of the big blood niggas. You feel me? Be on some shit like, all right, after... 2012, if you Mac Bola or turn Jets, you can't be Jet. Oh, well, you, well, you not Jet. You know how much work niggas done put in and yeah. all that shit? Oh, you, these little niggas really putting on for this shit? So you yeah. you can't. I just say try to guide them the best way you could. You feel what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Try to guide them the best way you could. That's it. Yeah. Do, do you worry that? Because, you know, his he was more talking like, yo, man, leave all that alone, whatever. If you this age, it's about peace. If you from that side and you want to come on to the pools on this side, you welcome. If you from this side, come on the pools on that side, you welcome. Um, <laughs> we shook your head. What, what nah, do you think about that? No, you can't come on no pool on our side. We got a pool on my side. You from that side? Yeah. This just, I don't want to sound negative. Yeah, because that's if, what I was gonna ask you. People might yeah, be so like, "Oh, you, you sound yeah, negative." Yeah, so for me, I don't want to sound negative. I'm just being realistic here. Like you see, oh, you come to the pool. That's not realistic. Because yeah. that same 50 year old, 60 year old you tell him to come to the pool, he gonna come with the 30 or come and make the call. Yo, for instance, Ty Mac, Ty Mac, whatever his name is. Hey, yo, he, Tay Mac, he here. Boom, boom. Then you just got shot by a 50 year old. Now yeah. he lit, he the man. Yo, he the nigga that was on the P film interview. Oh, what happened? Yo, he had a pool party, invited all the kids from everywhere. Yeah. It's, this is realistic shit that could yeah. possibly happen. You get what I'm trying to say? So it's like, like, the most I could say is this, like, Niggas will be over there on their side. Niggas see a group of little niggas and know, like, them niggas ain't nobody. You feel what I'm trying to say? Gotcha. Just leave them niggas out of it. It might be somebody, but they not. I don't want to be. I'm not a negative person, bro. Yeah. I'm just realistic. I don't want yeah. nobody to get hurt to try to follow a J Main platform and thinking this be in two different cities and everybody got two different mind yeah. frames. So yeah. my, my piece is making sure my little bros don't go over there and do no dumb shit. Yeah. You heard that's that's my piece that I could do or yeah. me sharing some interviews on the internet and like commenting like you know doing like doing certain shit like that but like yeah. to say full fledged piece like yo y'all could come to over here on our block and come cop weed and it'd be nothing because say I could be like I could green it I don't be on the block every every day you got some niggas that feel different type of ways these niggas jump me they strip me you, you gonna tell Ja Wu. One of his men say the niggas that stripped them is good. They could come back to the block. We pushing peace. How you think he gonna feel? Hell no, nigga strip me, nigga. Who fuck you mean push peace? What do you mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's possible that the beef could be watered down, like like yeah. like leveled down, like you're trying to say. But to be all in one room at the same time, I don't think that could ever happen. Like especially yeah. because, like. Yeah, it's too it's too much shit yeah. going on, bro. It can't it can never it can never happen, bro. I ain't gonna front. It can never happen. The most a nigga probably like even now nah, it can't happen. But you got some niggas that's thorough niggas that I feel like from over there. Even son, I, I keep forgetting the nigga name. I'm bad with that. Yeah. The Tay Mac dude, right? Even with him, 
I fuck with him. Like, I really want to sit there and chop it up with him, like, yeah. like for the world to see, like, because I don't really know him. I yeah. can't be like, most I could think of, he's going to backdoor me or woo, but that's nothing. That nigga, I'm not worrying about That's the most I could think of, but I yeah. don't know him. Like, he one of them niggas. Like, I'm a, like, you're trying to say, like, my soul going to feel funny being around this nigga, but it's like, it's not even that. Like, I would like to, but it's just that I feel like I go for old morals, bro. We don't yeah. got to. We don't got to sit in a room and be cool for the world yeah. to see that and all that. It'll be cool for the world and all that. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like, it's other ways we could go about shit too, bro. Like, if yeah. you feel me? Like, even if we could even do some shit together that nobody know. Niggas all chip in for the kids and some shit. Niggas have yeah, some yeah, shit yeah. and nobody know. If I'm trying to say niggas could do that. Like, all right, fuck it. Yo, look, say a person like you, right? Yeah, and you're like, yo, yeah. we're going to start a pot. I'm gonna get collect bread from both sides. I'm gonna throw a big cookout prospect yeah. park somewhere, woo woo woo, for the kids. So now both our sides names yeah. on it. And it was it's like, done no, together. Yeah, it was done together. We don't yeah. gotta be there. You, if you do want to go, you could bring your kids. And now you know it's peace. Niggas, kids there. Niggas ain't crazy. Niggas ain't none of that. You yeah. know what I'm trying to say? So it's like niggas could go about it that way. But yeah. like the FYBJ Main and them niggas way sitting yeah. there doing podcasts with niggas that shot at you and shot you. Yeah. I don't think New York City niggas ain't going for that, bro. Yeah. What do you think about that though? Like, like you know, <laughs> like like you just said, like the, you know, Tay <laughs> Savage shooting at FYBJ you know Main. FYBJ Main shooting over my there. My honest opinion is they panicking. Dirt got that paper. This is my opinion, right? Yeah. Dirt got that paper. Yeah. Niggas got to get on some way somehow. Yeah. You heard, bro? So Tay Sav probably looked at it like. He did an interview. Oh, this shit flicking. Yeah. So if I do an interview with Jay V, I got hey, you got remember they in the rap, bro. They dealing with niggas that got millions of dollars, bro. So it's yeah. like I gotta get in some way to the point that where F by them niggas don't care if they gotta tell to to yeah. get some views <laughs> just to get that check. <laughs> that shit is crazy, bro. I will yeah. never say certain shit them niggas say or do up here. I don't give a yeah, fuck yeah, if my yeah. homie dead. Yeah. I don't give a fuck if this shit thirty years from there. Yeah. Oh yeah, statue of limits. I don't care. It's just like. It's just certain shit we could talk about off camera. You get what yeah, I'm trying to say? Yeah. You don't have to talk about to the world because I'm pretty sure some people in the comments, even though I still said I'm not trying to be negative, yeah. going to say I'm negative. So yeah. if I say certain shit on here, that open old wound, somebody might take it a certain way. Somebody might be a, a fucking federal agent, open up a cold case. You heard, bro? Yeah. So it's like... I ain't with none of that. They be gotcha. bugging. But yeah. I be watching them shits all the time, though. I ain't gonna it's lie. Interesting. Tell, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here's how that. I feel about it. I be getting mad at New York City a little bit. I had, because why? Because I be like, yo, they getting lit. Why we can't get lit too? Look, it's so you know? crazy. I was talking to Tax Stone, right? Yeah. Probably like three weeks, four weeks ago. Yeah. Right? We were talking some management shit, like on some music shit. I was talking about okay. music and shit. Woo, woo, woo. He was saying the same shit that you just said. Like, yeah. why New York niggas can't just snap out of it and just... Because, yeah. like, let me tell you something. YouTube, the cheat code to YouTube is this, right? Yeah. This is the cheat code if, if niggas want to be on. Yeah. And it's so crazy. Duke Dennis says the same shit similar to what I said. All you have to do is follow... Right, if you want to be a comedian, you want to be a blogger, whoever you want to do, find somebody you fuck with. Yeah. See what they doing, and you just do the same shit mirror. in a di yeah. mirror in a different way. Think about it. All them 20, 20 females, one rapper, right? Man. Smash and pass. Fucking, can I grab that? Rate my fit. Fucking pranks. All these shits, yeah. they do the same fucking shit. I just hate them things, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. But it, it, it's, and I'm not knocking anybody. Do do what you do. Like it, it's cool. I just can't see myself. Like even when they was doing the whole. Um, uh, tell a drill rapper his music sucks is all that. I can't see myself grabbing on people's shirts and shirts yeah, yeah. being grabbed. Because you're more older, so it's like yeah. that's, some, that's some young nigga shit. I can't do yeah, that. Yeah, I get it. I get you it. Know what but, I'm but you're absolutely correct. It works. It works all the time. <laughs> it all works. the time, bro. It's it's yeah. to the point where I be in my house like, yo, bro. Let me start grabbing yeah, some like, shirts too. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yo, bro, this nigga just did the same shit. All he did was hit one girl's Instagram, y'all. I'm about to go link one of the drill rappers. You want to do a blonde date? Girl gonna say yeah because she gonna be on camera. Yeah, she she gonna gonna get lit. It. That's it. Now yeah. I'm the new nigga with the the blonde dates. Now yeah. it's Nino Brown burning down back in time. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, that ass. Yo! I gotta get some I'm crying, shit, man. <laughs> nah, nah, but I, I, I agree with Tex. The only thing is kind of crazy that I think you actually, Tex Stone is a person to listen to because 
he is in a predicament because he didn't do that. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of like, first of all, Tack Stone is like one of the pioneers of this interview stuff. Like people don't, I don't think people remember, but when Tack Stone was interviewing people, them interviews was classic and he from the streets and all that. I feel like he was so ahead of the game and I feel like being, if he would have known what he knows now back then, I don't think he would have been in jail Hell right yeah, now. bro. He would have been... He yeah. would have been up there with Wallow and Gilly and them niggas. Past, past like, them. Like, past, past that. Them. Like, he would have yeah. been like... I can't even say who he would have been like. Yeah, bro, he he, been because some... he was one of the first. Yeah. And I feel like him telling you that, that's a gem, man. Because he's literally the... And I hate to say that, but he is the example of, of, of not following that message. You know what I'm saying? So I always look at it like... Like, when I sit down and talk to people like you... Or, you know, certain pe other people in them. I'm like, yo, y'all have mad potential, bro. Like, I always say this, your interview, I always try to mirror your, like, the first interview we did, that is like the blueprint of my platform now. You know, where it's like someone who, you didn't have no music, right? Mm -hmm. No music. Not really known to the internet. And crack all them views. We did over 100,000 views off of... All the clips I'm dropping, nah, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel like y'all have that potential to be liked by the masses. So it's like, I, I don't know if this is insensitive to say because I'm not in your shoes, but why let the drama stop your legacy? You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. See, with me, I don't got no issue. Like, I like, I like being on camera. You heard? Yeah, like, yeah. So it's like, I'll fucking... I don't got an issue with being like a vlogger, like a yeah, YouTuber, yeah. like, you know, doing shit, like going places and doing shit. It's cool. You feel me trying to say? And it's, it's positive. But then again, it do be like a chip on my, it's, it's something in this ear, like, boy, you like a fucking bozo. Boy, what are you doing? You was some clown <laughs> shit, bro. Well, sit your ass down. Then it's yeah. something in my ear, like, nigga, you could do this shit. You know the method. You All you got to do is just do it. Do it, then, yeah. I, like I was telling you, I'll start doing some shit. I record it, get in the middle of editing this shit, and I'll be like, you was a clown, bro. You yeah, yeah, yeah. These niggas gonna look at you like a dickhead. You gonna have the ops playing with you now. This nigga yeah. turn to you. And they probably will, though. Yeah, so it's like, I gotta just say, fuck it. And like, just. Yo, I just told my boy this today, right? Because look, I, when I. All right, how we raise? We raise, mind your business. Don't be fanned out to nobody. This is just how we raise, right? So when I started this, I remember. I had this idea in 2013, but I started 2020, 2021. This is, what, eight years later? If I would have started in 2013, where the hell would I have been, son? I ain't so, going front. Yeah, so, yeah. boom, right? Why did I take time to start? Because I'm worried about... I went to my block and asked them, like, what would y'all think of me if I did this? And they telling me, like, yo, bro, go get your money. You know what I'm saying? Some people's making jokes, like, all right, cop. You yeah, know, they're making I, the yeah. jokes... But they not serious. They, they, they like, yo, the jokes ain't going to stop. But, you know, I waited so long that Lord knows where I would have been, bro. Like, that's, that's 11 years ago. You feel me? I had this idea. So I just, and I was telling my boy, I feel like part of following your purpose and being big and successful, you literally have to be okay with facing uncomfortability. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 you really have to f be okay with facing uncomfortability, mm -hmm. rejection, and all that you have. Because you to. got to, though. You, if you, if you look at like a lot of like, I like documentary, the documentaries or whatever, autobiographies, yeah. all them shits. So, everybody who made it somewhere went through that phase yeah. and surpassed it and took off. Like, oh, you like, even niggas that be making music, pretty sure Young Thug, I'm pretty sure his man's first home rapping said, what the fuck is you doing, boy? I'm pretty sure when he put you, the you, dress on, they Yeah, like, you feel me? So, yeah. then they just seen that he got a, he got he got something with this shit. He took off. So, it's like, you right. Maybe I do gotta, it's like, I don't care because I know a nigga can't say too much. A nigga can't say shit about me, you heard, yeah, bro? So, yeah. it's like, even if I was to be a YouTuber, It'd be like, oh, this nigga a YouTuber, this nigga a street nigga. It's the, one of the first official street yeah, niggas yeah, in YouTube. Yeah, like, so it could go double S swore, but I'll be so more. I'm a common nigga. If you like, yeah, if you, yeah. I'm be in comments. That's my first. Before I got a nigga video, I go to their comments. Yeah. That's because I feel like the comments mean everything to yeah. me. Yeah, know? word. It's, and it's so not. It, it, yeah, I got to get out that phase, bro. I, I, I'm going to tell you why. I interview Smart, right? Um, He's, he's, 
he's kind of like he's from Harlem. He he box. He does he does a lot of things. I he think was, I see the preview. I see the clip of it. Yeah, I it's probably maybe one thousand comments of me getting bashed. Yo, this interview is an idiot. <laughs> this interview, <laughs> this interviewer, he's he's. They were telling me I'm a, I love, I'm like, what do they call that? Um, I'm a race trader. All that. They called me everything in the world. But guess what? We got damn near two hundred thousand views on it. I ain't tripping about none of that. Yeah, that's a fact. I bro. sat down with that man for for an hour and I made. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What, you know what I'm saying? I'm cool. Call me what you want. Boy, that's a fact. I ain't yeah, tripping about it. it. You know what I'm saying? When I look at some of the presidents or people who's running the world, politicians, they get a bag to keep their kids safe and not give a damn about anybody else in the world. They don't give a damn. We Word can complain mother, all bro. we want. That and those are like comments, you know what I'm saying? But they like, yo, we don't care. Nah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie. By the, I'm, I'm gonna do some shit. You're gonna be surprised. I'm gonna call your some phone more. one day and be like, oh, P, look, man, I just this, like, I'm gonna do some shit. I, Cause you right though, bro, like, Cause what I eat don't make another nigga shit. You heard, bro? Oh, so it's like maybe I do gotta like stop. Like you feel me trying to say? Then it be half of the time it be the fake pages and shit. That should be just. I yeah. don't be caring about it, but I be feeling like other people' opinion counts a lot. That just to me, I gotta get. I've been like that since a kid, but I gotta really break that habit. Like yeah. I really be caring about how they gonna look at me about if I do this. Yeah. How they gonna look at me as I'm say this? How they look at me? So you feel me? So like like I said, I be in the crib with the YouTube. I got everything for the shit. Like I got wow. I got the I got the Canon camera. I think it's a Canon camera if I'm not mistaken. I got a good ass yeah. camera. I got the lights. I got mad shit. So it's like Oh nah, you gotta start then. So it's like, yeah, so it'll be like, I don't know, bro. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Fuck wow. fuck that. I'm gonna do it. Gangster. Bad, bad. I mean, listen, y'all heard it here. Nino said he gonna do it. So, so we're going to leave it at that. Yeah, I'm coming to YouTube. Yeah. Bet. Um, I feel like uh, the, the whole course of this um, interview, we talked a lot about certain things that you went through as an adult or, or a young adult. Um, but I, I want to go even earlier than that because I feel like a lot of people know Nino Brown, but they don't know uh, the family dynamic or even the name. Let's start off there. Nino Brown. How did you get that name? Because when I think about that, I automatically think... Um, New Jack City. Yeah. So talk about how you got the name. Is there any correlation to that? Um, I can speak about it. I actually asked my man today who gave me the name, like, can I tell this story? Like, do you yeah. think it's something? He's like, nah, that shit mad old. That shit is no status. You can tell about shit. So long story short, when I, I, I start coming to the block, I got my name from my, one of my man's name, Nunu, right? Okay. And my, him, Nunu and Bart gave me the name, actually. So they was calling me Brown. Like, that was my nickname, Brown. Like, Brown, yeah. Brown, Brown. So, boom. So, one day, we was on the roof, right? And we had, like, we remember that show, The Corner? The Corner. It was a series called The Corner. It was, like, The Wire, but it was, like, somewhere else. But it was, like, okay, some okay, black okay. young dude. Long story short. I'll check it out. Yeah. The dude stole a police vest from the cop car. Yeah. And made his man put it on, like, to test it. You feel me? Yeah. So, now... When I got, we, long story short, my son found a vest, right? A bulletproof vest. Gotcha. So, for, you know, we kids, first thing kind of our mind is like, yeah, somebody try it on. You feel me trying to say? <laughs> so now, my son like, yo, I'm going to try it on. No, he told me to try it on. I'm like, nigga, I'm not trying it on. You feel me trying yeah. to say, Mayu, this shit ain't had no plates in it or nothing. We just see like a blue vest. We thinking it's a bulletproof vest. Wow. He stole it from his brother. Yeah. So we thinking we got a bulletproof vest this whole time. So we debating on who we going to shoot with the vest on. Yeah. Because we Cause seen the show. Yeah. And it showed the nigga shot his man. He got up. He was good. He was laughing about it. So boom. He stole the gun and the vest from his brother. Yeah. So. How old are y'all at that time? We like? probably like 11, 12. Gotcha. I got locked up probably like the next year. I was 12. Yeah. So we all on the roof. We chilling. We chilling. Now, we just seen, we just, I, my mother, she knew, she never used to let us watch, like, Menace Society, State Pride. We had to sneak and watch it like that. You feel mm -hmm. me? So, we just snuck and watched Menace Society. Yeah. And I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, Gangs of New York or some shit like that. Yeah. Right? And just, Gangs, yeah. We just snuck and watched both of the movies. So, you know, when you were young, you, we didn't have internet or, or like, Cable and shit to really see the world, like what's really going on. We only see what we see in the movies. Yeah. So like, they probably changed my life when I seen that movie. Like you're trying to say. Yeah, yeah. So it's like Pay those the was, was mine. Yeah, that, yeah. See, those are our idols that we was looking up to. So yeah. we see the series, whatever, and we see New Jack City. So now, we didn't get the concept of 
This is why I don't like when niggas call me Nino Brown. You heard? I don't really mm. like that shit. We didn't get the concept of the whole shit that son was a rat at the end and he told Woodity Woodity Wah. Yo, so, yo, I didn't even you, you remember that. That's crazy. At the end, he go crazy. crazy. Yeah, it was this nigga, that nigga. So wow. that's why one of my older, older bros told me that when I was growing up, like, why the fuck you got niggas calling you that? And I'm like, nigga, it's my name. I'm not that nigga. I'm the yeah, I'm, yeah. So, so don't say shit. Sure. Is that why you changed it? Yeah, to like the E. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. So okay, now okay. everybody, we got so my son, like, yo, I'm gonna get a teddy bear. So he like, all right. So first my son Nuno, like, yo, you gonna shoot, you can shoot me. Ah, you can shoot me on it. Ah, so now he got it. We got the little revolver, two shots. No, it's a revolver. It had two shots in the shit. So now we debating who gonna shoot him. Yeah. Who gonna shoot him? Who gonna shoot me? All good. I'm like, I'm gonna do it. I'm lying. I'm like, yeah, I'm 12. I'm lying. Like, yo, I know how to shoot the gun. I know how to shoot the gun. Yeah. I know how to shoot the gun. So my son, like, <laughs> you don't know how to shoot the gun. Yeah. Now I, you know, revolvers, you could decock it, like you could pull it back, like yeah. the trigger hammer, the hammer back in the back. I never knew till I got older that you could decock it too. You just squeeze the trigger a little bit and move it up slowly and put it back. Okay. So when we arguing over the gun, somebody I forgot who it was, decocked the back. Now it's back now. Now you gotta eat yeah. now we all we know is we gotta shoot it to let it off. Yeah. Now, my man is standing right here with the vest on. We got like a one of them Coney Island teddy bears. This one was going to Coney Island for Easter. So he had like a big ass teddy bear, right? Mm -hmm. He got the teddy bear on the roof. We supposed to put the vest on the teddy bear, but we wasn't even that smart. We brought it up there for what? You feel what I'm trying to say? Yeah. My, my son really standing there ready to get shot. You heard? Yo, this so is now, crazy, son. Me and my son arguing the gun, decock back. Now I got it. So now I do some shit like this. Like I grab a gun and aim it at him. I don't want to point at you. Like I aim yeah. it at him and I shoot. Boom. But it hit the teddy bear. So now we like, oh, we run. Everybody runs. Boom, boom, boom. Leave the teddy bear. Everybody running the crib. So now we sitting there. We sitting there, we chilling, we chilling. We act like we caught a body, you heard, bro? Yeah. So we in there panicking. We done peed on our hands, yeah. all type of shit. Yeah. So now we sitting there. So my son's looking at me like, mom, we kids. So they looking at me like, yo, you shot the gun, bro. Yeah. He said, yo, you. Then my son's like, you trying to do me like G Money, bro? Yeah. Nah, you need no brown, bro. That's how that whole, like, you need no brown. Your name need no brown from now on. So that, that was just like, in my mind, like, Nino Brown. All I'm thinking about, nigga, was selling drugs. Yeah, and he was the, the man. Yeah, he was the man. Then yeah. I'm like, as I got older, then my son told me, then I started, I'm like, hell no, don't call me no fucking Nino yeah. Brown. Yo, that's so crazy, because I promise you, I don't think, I didn't even think that far into the movie. Like, yo, he definitely ratted on everybody. everybody Not just one it. person. He went crazy. He at told the end. you, oh, nigga, the Muslim nigga, yeah. everybody. <laughs> bet, bet. Um, Got got you. So the and and that's how you come up with the name Nino Brown. Yeah. Thank God you ain't you ain't putting yeah, that your man. Yeah, bro, gangster. I thought I I was trying to, but I shot so fast because I was trying to shoot before him because we touched him for the gun. I yeah. snatched and he just shot and it hit the teddy bear. Yeah. Or you know what's crazy? What I thought about too, like like I remember when you shooting for the first time, your aim. And you might be over trying to aim here, and it aims hit. higher or, or higher. Or lower. You feel me? How, how how about um your household like mother father? What was the dynamic like with them, and um what was the upbringing like? Um, growing up, I, it was just like my moms and my step pops. Okay. My pops was in jail. That nigga was in jail forever. He home now though, but he was always back and forth in jail. Gotcha. So that's how that shit was. It was cool though. I ain't really had to worry about shit. I was just a badass kid. Like, I was yeah. bad. Like, I get my ass whooped, get yeah. suspended. You feel me? But my mom, she was doing what she had to do, my step pops. Yeah. What was it? Because, I so, like, I, I've dated people with, with kids and all that, but it's like, I'm kind of like, I, I'm not about to hit no kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's nah, just. Nah, I got my ass beat by yeah. my step pops. <laughs> but I think that was a different time. Yeah, like, that was a different You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but th that's what I was going to ask. I was gonna ask, although he's not your biological father, did did you, what was the relationship like? And I guess you already said he felt comfortable. No, like, no see, man. I think every kid got this phase when they come to a step parent, right? Yeah. Like, I, as I got older, I learned, like, this nigga really was doing everything in the crib. Like, he was the, like, that was the breadwinner of the crib. Yeah. You feel me? So, long story short, as I got older and I learned how to play, my family against him and my moms to get what I want. Like, for instance, like, I could be on some shit like, I'll go to my sister crib or I'll go to my aunt crib and be like, yeah, my mother letting this nigga hit me. And woo, 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 woo. 
just cause my mother said I can't go outside, but the nigga mm-hmm. ain't really hit me. But I'm yeah, telling my aunt, so now my aunt and them beefing with him, looking at him crazy, looking at my aunt. So it was a bunch of that going on when I was yeah, growing yeah, up, yeah. you feel me? So how about um, now growing up, you say your stepfather, you know, your, your mother did, she's doing what she has to do. Your stepfather's the breadwinner, he's doing um, what he has to do. Is there any like <clears throat> advice that they're giving you or whether from them or anybody, is there ever like advice that just you live with it till, till the day, till even at this age? My, my grandpa's. Yeah. Well, I could I be seeing my grandfather, but I only met him twice. I, yeah. feel me? I met him twice. It's my father, father. Yeah, biological. By, father, yeah. Right? So okay, okay. I met him twice. I met him, and I used to oh, he used to work in a bodega because I'm half Puerto Rican. You feel me? So yeah, yeah. He used to work in a bodega and shit. So my first time meeting him, they used to have like some. I think I said this about the ice cream shit. The um the he used to sell, they used to sell breast of mania ice creams. Yeah. So I used to be fiending for them shits, like OD yeah, yeah. crazy for them shits. They had the wrestlers and shit on it. So he give me the shit. So we used to be talking. So one time I remember he told me, never take money or something from somebody you don't know and you can't pay it back. Yeah. You feel me? So like that fake really stuck with me for the simple fact that what happened to him. You feel me? So it's mm. like, and so I took what he told me and put it in mad different scenarios. Like basically like, don't bother a person because you don't know what a person going through that day. Gotcha. Don't always judge a person or judge a book by its cover because you never know a person's story. You feel what I'm trying to say? So I take that shit and be like, I, for me, so that's yeah. why I can say I learned. But he died. Yeah, when you say what happened to him, what what was, how, how did he pass away? I basically, when I got older, this is the story I got yeah. from my pops, you feel me, and his side of the family. My grandfather is from Puerto Rico. This before, you know, United States of Puerto Rico was combined or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. he used to be smuggling drugs from Puerto Rico out here. And in a store that my mother used to be bringing me to to see him, yeah. that was the spot, like the little dope spot. Yeah. So they used to be selling dope out the store or whatever. So now he took some work from another nigga, yeah. some Dominican nigga. Damn. He took some work that he wasn't supposed to do. He tried to do some... All right, I'm going to get the work from these niggas, get the work from y'all, move this work, pocket this bread, move this work. You feel what I'm trying to say? So he was trying to do his own thing too fast. So long story short, he fucked the bread up. Damn. You feel me? He fucked the bread up. Them niggas kidnapped him, tied him to a tree, shot him up, stabbed him, all that. And it's so crazy Damn. because my father, he, I, I think my mother got the picture still, but my father has the picture. Like, they got a picture of him and all that, tied to the tree and all that. Crazy. After everything occurred? God damn, you know? Yeah, that shit was mad long ago. It's to the point, I be like, I be forgetting about that shit. Like, just be forgetting about that shit all the time. Yeah. That shit was mad long ago, though. That's probably, yeah. Damn, son. Now I was like, I was a little nigga, bro. I was a kid, kid, kid. Yeah. But I remember what he told me, though, and I remember that shit. Wow. Now, when you when you hear things like that, like did did that? I guess like with him being uh, into that, your father uh, being in and out of jail, did that make you? I guess want to stray away from things, or do did it? Did you gravitate to certain things? I think I gravitated to it. Yeah. Cause it was like I used to be like I like the older nigga when I was growing up. I used to just be like, I used to look up to like certain things. Like I used to be like, oh, this nigga lit. He got the girls on the block. He got mm-hmm. the cars. He lit. You feel me? So once I found out my grandpa's was like moving like big drugs like that, I felt like, what nigga? Like I got to get in that lane too. Yeah. You feel what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And my pops was never around to like to really tell me like what's really going on. Like this nigga, yep, he did some clown shit, got himself killed. You feel what I'm trying to say? So, but my step pops. He's from the he from the islands. He's Trinidadian, so you know West Indians is straight. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. So he been through his shit. So he used to tell me shit. But his main thing was, nigga, you going to college? You heard, bro? Fuck yeah. all this. I'm gonna get you a car. We gonna go to college. I'm damn near 11 years old. He talking about college. You heard, bro? Yeah. <laughs> but he was mad straight, gang. I'm talking about straight, gang. I've been on punishment for whole summers. Like I'm talking about. Nah, whole MR summers is just out of control. I'm man. talking about family going to Disney World. They done called my aunt, the flu off of Virginia, the babysit me, they going to Disney where I can't go, cookouts, all that. So it's just like. See, I think that's too far. I man. think that's how, that's how I was so built for jail. See, parents don't know. 
you should if you go discipline your kid, just beat them or don't mm-hmm. beat them. Talk that punishment shit is no yeah, joke, yeah, especially yeah. the way I was getting punished. Like a whole summer's wild, Yo, bro. Sir, I'm talking about, <laughs> and I but I was a dickhead. P like yeah. I do some shit, be on punishment for two weeks. Like my step pops. It was like jail. If you if I say you on punishment for ten days, it's ten days. Like you, yeah. ten days you in his room. You heard? So I just used to say things. I be in punishment. I do. I come out, go outside, do some dumb shit again. You yeah, know, what I'm trying yeah, to say yeah. to the point that my mom's just like, I don't know what to do with this nigga, bro. Yeah. This nigga is just crazy. But that's what I think. That's what coped me into jail for being in my room so long and just mind you, we from a generation. We ain't had no iPhones, cell phones, yeah. no TikTok, Facebook, yeah. none of that, no nothing. So when you on punishment, your ass is in that room. You got your books, toys. If you got a parent that let you play with your toys on punishment, you got to sneak and do shit. You in that bed or you just yeah. sitting around looking around your room, your imagination. That's all you got. You feel me? So I feel yeah. like that's how jail probably didn't break me because I was just like, nigga, I'm used, I'm used to, this. to this shit. Yeah, got you. You see, that's why I be like, we felt like we was getting beat for anything, anything bro. Yeah, that's that era. And beat I really, your ass yeah. for anything, And boy. I remember saying that. My my brother was kind of like, yo, they told us we can't do it. And I was like, yo, bro, just take your beating and at least have fun. That's that was what I really my mindset. To. Yep. You know, it's crazy. I was right. I just be like, Ma, just beat me. I ain't can't do this punishment. Just beat me. Yeah. She be like, nah, get your ass in that room. I'm tired of being you. My hands hurt. Nah, fact. Yeah, fact. you're getting too big. You're <laughs> grabbing the belt. you running yeah. under the bat. Nah, yeah. you going on punishment. Uh, but you ever got to a point where you just told your parents, like, yo, it's done. You're not putting your hands on me anymore. Like, you ever got to that point? Um, No, this this would. I think, nah, because I, yeah. I went to juvenile early. So when I went to juvenile, I went to juvenile for a gun. So yeah. when I came home from juvenile, I was like, I was grown. I was already like, who, who you ain't telling me shit. My step pops even was looking at me weird. Like, I'm on some shit. Like, yeah. nigga, don't even look at me. You heard, bro? Yeah. But hell yeah, that shit. Mm-mm, bro. Now, you, you, you were like 12 or something when yeah. you got you. Now, were you going to school at the park or just chilling? Like, how did you I even would, get caught up with the gun and all that? I was... Basically, my mom's had moved from Crown Heights to Best Star. Yeah. When she moved to Best Star, I met a whole new group of friends. So it was like they was way more advanced than the friends I knew from the Star. Yeah. And way more advanced than my cousins and them in Brownsville. So it was like I was just getting into I'm I'm 12, 12 is 13. I'm going to say 13 the oldest, 12 the youngest, right? I'm around those ages, and I'm around 18-year-olds, 17-year-olds. So now you can't tell me that I'm not a grown man. I'm out here yeah. doing shit. I'm, they, I'm in the cars with them. I'm in the cribs with them. I'm chilling. I'm doing. So it was like, fuck my mom. Fuck my pop. Fuck, yeah. th- fuck everybody. I'm with them. I'm lit. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. So my moms ain't really know what I was doing outside. She just always knew. Like, I was bad in school, yeah, but she didn't really know, like, what was going yeah. on outside. So when I got caught with the gun... My mom said some. My, no, my aunt came with my mom to the priest and said some clown shit. Had me tight. This when she knew, like she like my aunt like just tell him who gun because the cops knew like you you be with the older niggas on the block. We know this not your gun. Ah, da, da. So my aunt like just tell him who gun it is. Yeah. Tell him who, I but looked they always up. Gonna say that. I'm like what you bugging? You heard? I'm like you bugging? She like what? Well, then I got knocked. And when I came home, I was just like a man ever since. Yo, your story, like I said, is 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 crazy and um, it's compelling. I know it's gonna do. The people are gonna love it. Nino, man, is there anything you want to tell the people before we go? Um, what I want to say, I want to say basically like, just be your own person, bro. I just just be your own people, bro. But like, don't never let people dictate your next move yeah. or dictate your future. And I might be hypocritical by saying that because I just said that I let people dictate my future by worrying about comments and all this shit. Yeah. But I'm always good at giving advice my, and I can't take my own advice. You yeah. know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So that's my advice to y'all. Like, just be your own man, bro. Don't let nobody stop what you want to do. You got a dream. Persuade it. Like, that's even if you want to be a street dude, you want to be positive, you want to be negative. Whatever you want to yeah. do, just put your all to it, bro. Yeah, and that's man. just that. Let's get it. Yo, Nino. Man, until next time, man. Let's get it.